Mobius. Morbius? <gasps> ah! Profile name. Giga. Create. Okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a planet in space, but the planet is small, so the scale looks funky. I've seen some streams, so I know generally what the backseaters say. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you catch any of it. Kill them. Kill them. I finished the game, so I'm gonna back out for now. But I'm just starting it! I've never played it before! I, I just play it for the first time today! <laughs> Uh, options. Okay, okay. Okay, they know about- they know about- Wait. Oh, Xbox Series X or Xbox One. I I'm using a 360 controller, because <laughs> I really like it. Hi, Snow. Thank you for the resub, Snow. Hello. Invert player look. Yes. Invert ship look. Yes. So sorry if you don't like that, but I love it. Vibration? I don't really like control vibration, but will this like help the immersion? Are there a lot of little cutscenes and things where the vibration, you know, is cool? I tend to turn it off in a lot of games, but... Yeah. It's good? Okay. Look sensitivity, I'll just leave for now. Volume seems fine. Language, what do we got? We got everything. Text speed. I love fast text speed. Controls. Oh, wait. I didn't even go to advance. Autopilot? Oh, you could turn it off so you have to fly everywhere? What does that mean? Okay. I'll leave this all like this for now. Ooh. Freeze time. Oh. We'll leave that. Okay. Controls. I don't see any reason to change any of this right now. Shall be good. Graphics. It's all on like mega graphics, like like crazy graphics. FLV 70. Dithering. I'm gonna leave it all really good. And if it starts to lag, then we'll do stuff. But for now, it should be fine, right? Should be okay. Clueless, she says, clueless. 180 FOV. I, I turn the FOV down in some games because it makes me throw up on the carpet, dude. Throw up on the carpet. Okay, okay. We go in. It gives you more graphics, though. <laughs> you could have, like, all of the graphics if you only played it in, you know, 180 FOV. Wake up. Wait, but I... Oh, I moved my mouse. There we go. Was I sleeping while looking up? Okay, well, there's something floating behind that planet. Is it, is it orbiting the planet? It's going along with it. That's what it looks like. We got stars and shit. We got a campfire. I assume we'll want to talk to that dude. <laughs> Let's leave him and never talk to him. Oh. oh, okay, so I can tap A to jump, or I can hold it down, crouch a bunch, and then do a bigger jump. Roast marshmallow? Oh, can you get a nice even roast on it? <gasps> Extend stick. Ah! I can't leave it. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's roast it nicely. Let's get a, a little gold and brown. Oh. It was looking okay. It was looking okay. Oh. Okay. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Those off, we can't do. Talk to Slate. Hello, alien man. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Pre-launch camp out. Okay. So it's launch day A. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are. 
leaving on your first solo voyage. Voyage. What do you say? We're gonna get this beauty off the ground. It's all fueled up and ready to go. Oh my god. Are you sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey. No reason to dwell on the past, right? This sounds like a, a we didn't check everything thoroughly moment, but okay, buddy. Whatever you say, buddy. Anyway. Haha, <laughs> anyway. You'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the, uh, at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Thanks, Slate. Oh, we got the camp music. This is that music where you'd like hold hands with your friends and you make out and shit. All right, so that'll be up to the platform. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's here. Oh, you can climb up the edge, okay. Oh, this game looks nice. Fly model ship. <gasps> Fly model ship. Oh, they're gonna teach me how to, okay, down or up thrust. Let's add thrust to go up. I see, and it'll go like hard left, hard right. Yeah, yeah. We can turn it. Okay, so it flies like any normal ship should. Woo! Oh. <laughs> okay. Not much reason to ever turn it then. I'm gonna land it up there. Oh, it's so hard to tell the perspective. Am I, am, I, am I near it? Oh, I'm not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll go up. No, I want to send it out. I'm gonna send it out. Oh! My ship! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Look at it, it's fine. It's all good. It's doing great. It's all great. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Oh, you know, whatever. Whatever. See? Look, look. <laughs> wow, wow. We landed it. Oh, incredible. Oh, incredible. Yeah, see? Boop. Oh, so good. So good. Typical NA driver. Um, <laughs> are you one of those Euroids? In my chat? Uh-oh. 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 All right, so realistically, they want you to do this, right? And they're like, oh my God, you landed it, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. Wow, how'd you do that? Whoa, right? That's what they wanted from me. Can I, can I, can I flip it? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Incredible. Mika, were you watching me? Uh-oh. What a landing! I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's because I'm so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I'm so good. So good. Okay, we got this campground. Poor feet. Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. Oh, is that what I'm doing? <gasps> Minky. Thank you for the 19 months. Thank you so much. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Hmm. Uh, am I only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually? Hmm. Actually? Or do I complain about the good stuff? Okay, I'll talk about this one. Another metaphor ruined the name of scientific accuracy. So true. That's me. I'm the person who goes, mm, actually, I'm only going to one location, but thank you for your concern. All right. Thanks, poor fee. Can I go in? No. I can't go in any of these, I don't think. We gotta talk to that guy, but I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna start low and then go high. So I talk to you. Oh, Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Is this like a little 
This, oh my god, it's a museum. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight in space. Oh, it was their first ever thing. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless be remembered as a landmark achievement in Hearthian history. Okay, Hearth, Hearth, like Earth, Hearth, this is where we're from. Um, Feldspar was the first dude flying. And um, it was totally cool and there were totally no mishaps, right? All right, satellite camera. Timber hearth. Oh, okay. What happened to the rest of it? <laughs> uh, that was a great question. But we sure do have the chair, though. Satellite equips two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is like what it looks like if you fly over. Oh, ooh. Rear view. Oh, I see, I see. So if I go like this and I go forward, now we can look at it from the back. Ooh. Is this the village? Yeah, okay. <gasps> you can see it taking off. Wait, look, 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 look. Oh, I already did it. I went around. <laughs> oh well you get the idea you could see the thingy taking off that's cool do you run this you're actually blasting off in that thing huh i'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high yeah space programs certainly come a long way i should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors yeah 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 i'm so good by the way good luck with those retro rockets Oh, thank you. I have so much confidence in them. Talk to Marl. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Oh! Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? <laughs> That's what someone weak would say. That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? No. Oh. He hates the tree. Yeah, no, no, no. You're not cutting it down on my watch, buddy. We're not allowing that. Nice. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Oh my god, tell me about them. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Kurt's... Kurt. That's Kurt. Kurt's drums, Ryback's banjo, and Gabro's flute. Oh, I bet they're all dead. No spoilers. I don't know anything about this game, but I'm just going to bet right now those three are dead and we're going to find their instruments. And Felspar's harmonica, of course, though Felspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels just like yesterday. They were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs other travelers. Oh, okay. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Ah. Oh my god, let's do it. Play it again. No. Okay, well, we talked to everyone around here, right? Observatory. Let's keep heading up. Oh my god, there's two. Tefra and Galena. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Oh, sure. Let's play. All right, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide these with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Ooh. Last one to be found wins. All right, all right. Close my eyes and start counting. I gotta use the signal scope to find them. Equip. Oh, yeah. I hear it. I hear 
everything. Can I get up there, though? How do I get over there? They're up there. I think I have to go up and then drop down, don't I? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, there's another one that way. Oh, ooh, I like this. I like this. It's simple. It's just a listening mechanic, but I like it. Oh, it's you. All right, we'll go back for the other one in a sec. Uh, don't fall. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, hoo hoo. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna drop down. <laughs> I don't trust. Oh! Ah! I fail. I fail. <laughs> they got me. They got me. All right. I try that again. I try it again. Hell yeah. Giga salute. <gasps> Ooh, thank you so much, Azareth, for the seven months. Welcome back. True rub legs cheered X300. Well, it's been fun listening in, but I have to head to work. Don't. And before I leave, I have another one for you. No. Why do fish only swim the sand <laughs> fresh water? Because pepper water makes them sneeze. Hope everyone has a great time. I heard your joke, although it's quite loud with this waterfall. Hi, Tefra. You found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Okay, okay. Well, I have to find both of you. Oh, was this a normal walkway? No, it wasn't. Can I die in here? Can I die from all the falling? <laughs> Minus two, ban that guy? Oh, rubber legs. Your joke didn't land. Yeah, that wasn't a how question. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I think, I think we gotta go up there, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. The background noise is great for sharing chicken nugget recipes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Do I have a nugget recipe for you? Oh, there you are. Hi. I went. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. That it? Do I just keep it now? <gasps> I can hear it. John Cena's in space? <gasps> we have to find him. Oh my god. Oh, uh, John! John, I hear you! We have to save him. <laughs> we have to save John! Oh my god. Hi, Spinel. I can find him. You can't see him. I, well, but but I can listen with my spec spectrometer. What the fuck is that? My signal. My, I can hear him. Okay. Who cares if I can't see him? I can I can hear him. I can feel him. He's there. I know it. Fishing rhyme. Fishing rhyme. Sing it helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess what? I'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. Wow. You just want to be here for work. That big water planet, Giants Deep. That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gavro told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gavro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gavro couldn't go any further. <gasps> yeah, Giant Steep. Actually, Giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. Sure, okay, but shut up a minute. This is the good part. Oh, so true. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was, re was refusing to let Gavro go any deeper. <gasps> it held Gavro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Um, actually, that was just a current. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gavro saw it. <gasps> the tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gavro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gavro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was Joel. <laughs> okay. Should I, should I spoil the game for myself right now? The point of the game is going to be finding stories and the friends you made along the way, and that's it. Uh... Someone's whistling over there. Okay. Don't tell me if I'm right on anything, by the way. Don't. 
don't ever. Oh. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost matter? Gossin said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Oh, there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter's awesome. Oh, uh, it'll burn the heck out of you. It's dangerous. You know, ghost matter's how Tektite lost their foot, right? <gasps> It's super cool. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk in, into any in space, okay? It sounds bad and painful, okay. Okay, if we see ghost fire, ghost matter, what do you call it? Don't touch it. Ghost matter, ghost matter is what it was called. Ghost matter. <gasps> Hi, Lime. Lime, I just started this game. I haven't played it before. No spoilers. I just started it and uh, I, I used my thingy that lets me listen to space. And when I when I did, we heard John Cena up there. John Cena's in space. His voice was coming to me clearly uh, and everyone in chat heard it too. So we have to go get John from space and save him. <laughs> Yo, sick. I know it was crazy. It was crazy. We have to go save John. He said being chilling. But yeah, I, I, I just started, if anyone has never seen this before, I just did. Uh, we start at the bottom of the village, we just wake up, and they're like, Oh, are you ready for the big day? Because apparently I'm going to take my ship and go into space and explore. And that's it. So I'm just talking to everyone. That shit moves fast, holy shit. So yeah, I'm talking to everybody. Oh, this is Moraine. But thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream was wonderful and lovely, and uh, we're going to go find John in space. <laughs> oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Oh, Ventures is the music. Okay. Last night I heard Rybex banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Time and get war, Lao Gong Ma. Oh, who's now going to Lao Gong Ma? That's a jungle answer. Just a face on top the chili sauce. See, he's there. He's there. I told you he's there. If we just if we just get him, like if we just if we just go to the right spot, we can find John. John blink twice. Oh, oh, that's that dude's banjo. Oh, it's moving with that planet. <gasps> oh, I see. I see. I see. That's the dude's banjo. He's in Brittle Hollow. Well, that's a piece of information that we have, right? Like, that might be a usable, real piece of information. We know that John Cena and his friend are in Brittle Hollow. And they play banjo, right? Okay, is there anyone else I missed? Okay, they said uh, the tooltip that I was reading was uh, saying, Don't touch ghost matter. You'll die. That's what it told me. You can detect ghost matter with a camera, but it's in invisible to the naked eye. So, okay, so here's the camera. <gasps> oh, oh, kind of looks like Aurora, right? I like how it gives me two buttons to take snapshots. Oh, ooh. Touch it, it'll be funny. It'd be so funny if I touch the ghost matter. Would it be so funny? You, you can un -wiga. Oh, yeah, I've been small for f forever. There we go. Should I, should, I, should I slide down, though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to block too much of the game. There we go. I don't want to block everything. Is that good? Uh, oh! Do I have two toes? See if there's like... Or do I have three? I only got a couple fingies. <gasps> Ooh, like a Waverian. You see those hands? Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, so we did that area. Whoa! Wow. 
Wow. So we can hear people. You know what? Maybe I should never take this thing out again. I'm just, it's going to turn my Discord notice back on. And I don't want to be able to call me. I don't want to hear it. I don't like that. I don't like when they call me. Uh, let's go in that little cave here. I don't want to just run forward and not thoroughly check everything. Oh, it's so freaky how you can see it turning. Ooh, it's like a time lapse because of how small this uh, planet is. And I assume we're rotating really quick. Spooky, scary, gossip. <gasps> He's missing an eye. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm a natural. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. <laughs> so funny. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero-g practice, head down to the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make chip repairs in space. Uh, let me, let me do that. <laughs> I should do that. Zero G experience, huh? Listen long enough and you can hear the secret chicken nugget recipe. So true. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Flashlight. Oh. Uh, we went very far down, huh? Okay, we're in the cave. Do I, do I, do I, okay. Suit up. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's normal thruster kind of shit. <gasps> oh, I love that. Okay, jetpack, jetpack. Hello. Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. <gasps> oh, hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude how long they laugh for, if you ask me. What? What? Guess where I'm going. Oh, no. No, 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 no way. You want to run off into space? That's your business. But don't make me, you know, think about it. Oh, he don't like space. Bad enough, we got this weird cave down here. Weird cave. Okay, okay. So, our, uh... Oh, the jump is so high. Our... Home cave here is a little funky. But I guess... Uh, I guess no one cares about this guy. Everyone's just like, Oh yeah, you can practice in there. It's totally fine. Nothing's wrong. That's the elevator I came up. Okay. Let's go into the cave. What's in here? Ooh. Ooh, I gotta slow myself down for a landing, right? Oh... Can I, can I, can I push that? Oh, it's fully zero G. Yang of 454 oh. sub for two. Oh. Hell yeah. Alex Ghost 241 gifted a tier one sub to Yang of 454. Hey, Alex. Thank you so much for giving me a sub. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. So if I face the thing, I can use my thrusters to like get near it. But I don't want to be too fast or I'll just go crazy, right? Match velocity? <gasps> oh, you can, you can just, you can just. Oh, that's easier than I thought. Okay, okay, okay. And then repair it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's almost like this is a space game. <laughs> it's almost like you're meant to do this. Okay, okay, okay. I move in, I move in. I move in, I move in. 
that's nice. You can just you can just kind of match it and get close to it without worrying about going too fast. Mostly, I'm sure I'll, I'll fuck it up at some point. Where did I hear it? Oh, I thought I heard it on this side. There's one more repair to be made. Is it the red spat? Is it the red bit? Is it inside? It's inside. Eh. Eh. Let me go up. Ah. Okay, so so my my right trigger is up, my left trigger is down. You can see the little on the bottom left. You can see me uh doing everything with with thrust over there. Ooh, okay, okay. I did it. Training simulation complete. Now where the where the fuck do I go? Roll? Wait, roll? <gasps> Ooh, the whole time we had roll and I didn't use it. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering how you do that. I was wondering. I'm fine. I'm fine. You ready to get sick, chat? No, no, no. You'll be fine. You just get used to it. Yeah, there is no up and down, I'm aware. But for my perspective, from my perspective, it's up and down, right? There's up and down based off of where my eyeballs are. How long has she been doing this? I just started. I just started. All right, let's, uh, do I, do I, do I, I don't keep it, right? Or should I keep it? Should I just take it? What if I take this all the way up to the surface? Do they, do they get mad? Are they like, hey, give it back? Oh. <laughs> I wanted to keep the jetpack. <laughs> Actual Astros use duct tape actually. Isn't that uh, actually why it was made? Was it made for space purposes? Something? Me and my food. Hold on. I'm taking a bite. Duct tape is make, made for ducts? Yeah, space ducts. Obviously. Ducts in space. Right? <laughs> Clearly. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful. And you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Oh. I may be confusing it with WD-40. No, it was made for space ducts, obviously. The ones that quack. Space ducts. Okay, I won't hit anything. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Yeah. Time is probably a factor in here, right? <laughs> or small. Yeah, I, you know... In space, when something is hurtling at you, it doesn't really matter the size of it. It's, uh, it's terrifying. Scout launcher. Aim launcher. Launch scout. Take snapshot. Oh! Oh! I can see what's in every direction by doing this. That's the crater where the fire was, right? No, that's a campfire. Is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no helpers. Don't give me any help. And if you're like, but I didn't, and a mod's like, no, you did, the mod is right. No matter what you think. No matter what you think. Because they know what I want. Because I told them what I want. All right, I think we can go over here, and this is the actual observatory, right? <gasps> What's this? There's so many things. There's so many things. Ooh. Outer Wild Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left, Hornfells. That's who I'm looking for, right? Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Look at them. Look at how happy. Gossen. Outer Wilds Ventures Timberheart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. 
Feldspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched in <laughs> intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timurhearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. The Adel Rock is the moon, okay. What the fuck is that? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled into our in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statues provide us with our most detailed look at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. No decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Hmm. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. <laughs> I ate them. They were delicious. The space furries. Where did they go? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. It does look kind of crazy. Nomai, more like the No Maidens. Oh! No, no, no Maidens? No Maidens? Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central place. Point. Ah, interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Got it. Oh. Wow. I, I, hold. Oh, and it's scanning it around like that. Uh, I see, I see, I see. And then this branch is written by someone else. Okay, so this one is, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. She says calibrating the device won't take too long. So this is all one, and then this is the next branch. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. All right, and then what the fuck is this? I'm not allowed to know what that is. Okay. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated, decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Like us. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? It's a how question, guys. It's a how. There, these are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. Oh, pottery, huh? What the hell is this used for? It looks like a weird bread box. What do you see here? Are parts of the Nomai skeleton? <gasps> we can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Only three? <laughs> only three. The you know, my body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in their anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that the Harthians couldn't have descended from Noma Nomayan ancestors. So they're like birds? Like, like, mm, birds? Or not, they just said brittle, they didn't say like, like empty, right? It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Interesting. No, my technology brought back from space by our astronauts. Ast I almost said astrolabes. Astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. Mm. So they're reverse engineering a lot of their shit, right? For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability ooh, that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. That's what we were using before. When I would press B and it would warp back, right? This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost into the depths of space. Isn't that what we do currently? Everything we put in space, just we're like, eh, we could lose it. If we lose it, that's what happens, you know? This crystal was taken from a Nomai rumen on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. <gasps> local gravity distortion. Oh! Oh! Very fun. <laughs> that Tesla's still up there. Yep. Yep. This is outside. I saw that on the camera. This is our... Pl well, the other one is our planet. I don't know if this is. Okay. <gasps> Ew! Space anglerfish. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Oh, can't wait to go to the place where these guys live. That's going to be so fun and cool. All right, let's start at the small one. 
Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Okay, okay, so this is, this is just Earth, right? As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. It's called a dwarf sun, guys. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. Ours is like in between yellow and red giant, isn't it? I can't remember. Any knowers in chat? Um, actually, it's not quite a red giant yet. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Ugh. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. <gasps> Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Can't wait for ours. Based on Kurt's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. The eventual death. Ooh, ball game? Um, actually, it's hot like soup. Actually, a uh, ours is a yellow dwarf. Yeah, it's like smaller. Okay, not even close to red right now. Is that the is that the you know not even on that part of the scale yet kind of thing? Main sequence yellow star. Watch closely. These balls move on their own, <gasps> just like mine. The ground is perfectly level. So, what do you think causes this spooky motion? <gasps> The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. <gasps> ah! Oh, I was waiting for me to like get sucked up to the, to the ceiling or something, but I didn't. Oh my God. The moon's moving them. The moon's moving them. Ooh. Future sight of our next exhibit. Aww. Ooh. I would love to give them things. Okay, that's where I came from. I didn't see some of the side rooms, right? And I didn't go up. Oh, yeah, this is this thing. Does it just work from here? Oh, I can jump from it. Oh, that's fucking cool. This is what? The outside? Oh. What the hell is this? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Oh, it's an SCP. It's an SCP. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at, pay at play, but Gavro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Schrodinger's rock. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you look away, and then it's like... <laughs> I don't like that rock. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like that rock. All right, we, we have to check up. What a funny little guy. What a funny little guy. Such a cool effect, yeah, that's so cool and great, and it's not gonna eat me at night. Oh, view map. <gasps> oh, 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 there's a thing out here at the edge, all the, all the way on the left. See it. See that all the way in love? Okay, okay. We're on Timber Hearth. Uh, the Hourglass Twins, they're closer to the sun. Brittle Hollow is one out from us. That's Mars. Then we have Giant Steep, one out from there, and the Dark Bramble, and then whatever the fuck that is out on the edge. We can't go beyond our solar system, can we? Oh, I see something down there, too. That little red... That little red... It's that red glowy thing below. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay. So that's what's going on right now. Hey, horn fails. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a know my translator tool. Ooh, I confess I've been getting all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the know my. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. I am. What's your plan once you're in space? Uh... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Overwhelmed by the options, perhaps? I don't blame you. If you need help getting started, you could go visit Esker on the moon. That makes the most sense, probably. They're alone on the Adelrock most of the time, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna go piss on the moon! It's gonna be fun. 
Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are or why they were built. You can put your new translator tool through its paces. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? No, it's like break a leg. At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. <laughs> Great. I'm so excited. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right, I got the launch codes. I got codes. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. <gasps> redshift, that's how you can tell distances of things in what direction they're moving. It's also the name of a thing. You Are you aware of Amazon Redshift? That's all I think of. In fact, the farther away galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. No way! It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. <gasps> but if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? <gasps> Red shift, blue shift, one ship, two fish. That's how that one goes, right? One shift, two fish, red, red shift, blue fish. You want to visit our friend the rock again? Don't you love the rock? Don't you love the rock? You love, you love the rock. You can predict what direction it's gonna go. I wish you couldn't predict it. But you can. Oh. <gasps> He's sucking my soul out! Everything I did, it, it, oh no, it knows about John Cena. <gasps> its eyes are open. Oh my god. Oh my god, it knows, it knows that I saw John Cena and I heard him. <gasps> That's cool. He's in danger. He's in danger. What if they go find John? <gasps> hey, hey! So did you get a good look at that no my statue? He's doing whittling. The statue looked at me and opened his eyes. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? This is no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Ornfels tried everything to get the statue's eye to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were thinking... Oh, they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Gabro on, on Giant's Deep, okay. Good night, Iki. Good night. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd, better be off, you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. So true, that funny little guy. Jeez, now I'm really jealous if you're going into space. Hey, if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? See if you can. I forgot the word see. Good luck and stay flying. Okay. Okay, um, yeah. It's, just, it's fine. It, it's, it's cool. It's cool. We're chill. We're chill. <laughs> it's okay if they know where John Cena is. We'll find him first. I, it, surely, surely, even if the statue knows, I can move faster than the statue, right? Right? It'll be fine. I wish you could go in these. Hey, buddy. Hello, astronaut. Are you going to space today? Are you, coming, are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? That's pretty disturbing. Newt, thank you for gifting us up to Iggy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hornfell says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfell says they got lost in space even though they were just the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should really be careful not to get lost. You know what, kid? I don't like your attitude. I'm fucking, I'm watching you. I'm watching you, kid. I don't like that kid's attitude. No, 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 no. All right, I'm back slate. 
I got the launch codes. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to fly the one that doesn't have the avoidance system. That's going to be so cool and great, right? Right? That's going to be awesome. That's going to be wonderful. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, those are the twin ones. Wow, I can see them from here. They're um They're far but not that far, huh? Oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, <gasps> John Cena's on the sun? Oh my god, John. We have to save him. <laughs> He's on the sun. Oh, I have one of these to, to stick to. Okay. I have a ship log. <gasps> the interloper, dark bramble, giant steep pearl, hollow. Timber. Okay, so the thing I saw out there was the interloper. Uh... Looks like there are a few points of interest on here. There's like a moon on this one. Okay, view entries. The village in the zero G cave. Entry. Gabro. We know Gabro's here. Okay, and then and then the Addle Rock. The ruins somewhere on there. No my ruins. Uh the text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Addle Rock. We should try the Addle Rock first then. Sounds like Escrow's still stationed there. They've been there by themselves for a while. Well, what's 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 wrong with uh, staying like that for a little longer, huh? Oh, see beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. Ah, they're talking about the uses for the scout. Do I want this suit on? I don't know if I do. Okay. Ooh, it's time. Okay. Uh, I like how I can see the um. The master alarm button. <laughs> I like how there's just a red button that says master alarm on the bottom left. Uh, view map, it says. Oh, the interloper has its own separate orbit. It, like, gets slingshot around the sun. So I bet you can only stay on it while here. And what's this other wider orbit? What's on the wider orbit? I can't say it's that thing. The little beeper that I saw before. The little red thing. Oh. Huh? Huh? I don't think I want to be locked onto it. I don't want I don't want to go to it yet. What I want to go to is the moon, the Addle Rock. Oh. I wanna go there. Okay, okay, now it's... Ooh, oh, okay, 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 and then it did it. Where's Uranus? <laughs> you wanna see it? Okay, lift off. Lift off landing camera. Oh, they give us a camera for that. Oh! I was just... I was just holding... Do I have to pull up, like, landing gear? What do I need to do? Very cool. Okay, so we're still held in this orbit right now. So I need to get us out of here. I kind of want to see what's on this planet, though. Right? I kind of I kind of want to know. All right, all right, let's just get ourselves out of this orbit first. Ew. Ew. Okay, okay, okay. And I can just kind of sit here and observe it. I'll probably start getting pulled in. Yeah. Let's go to the Addle Rock and let's meet it. Let me not get super close to this planet again. Or I feel like I will meet my demise. Ugh. Do I have to wait for it to come back around or am I going to be able to catch it? I don't, I don't want to crash into it. 
Can I, can I, oh, I can match velocity. Oh, I can match velocity. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get real close. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Woo! Landing mode. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Incredible. And we're on it. Look, ooh, we're moving with it. Okay, I've got my suit on. I am here on the Atoll Rock. Oh. All right, all right. I am here on the Atoll Rock. And I have to find my buddy. I have to find my bestie. Oh, cool. A crash landing of some sort. That's great. That's great. I love that. Oh, it's the flag. It's the flagpole. Flat I sub for one. Hell yeah. Soft strawberries underscore oh. gifted a tier one sub to Fly I. <gasps> they set up they, they got they got trees on the moon? Buck, thank you so much for the eight months and strawberries. Thank you for gifting two subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Trees detected Kiss oxygen tank six. refilled. That's yeah, what refills it. Such a lovely game. Oh, does it have to be near the Aurelius trees? Aurelius 23 cheered Dex 100. One great step for Jig. <laughs> One great step for Jig. 500 more steps to be taken for Gig kind. Okay, so this will refill my, my shit. Hi, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. No, long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Though another travelers come by. The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. A set of four eyes? Sometimes Kurt comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! I, I mean, anything else you want to ask? <laughs> oh no, he's so lonely up here. Seems lonely. A little. Oh, it's more than a little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Gossen mostly. And they radio up ch to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets them up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <laughs> at the village? You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's, it's one-way communication. That none of the villagers know about. Because I've never told them. Don't go! Was that you whistling? Probably. Or, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole's marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. Can't miss it. <laughs> don't go! What is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travels, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. <laughs> See ya never. Unidentified signal nearby. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, okay, and then we saw... Yeah, we saw those so far. We saw... <gasps> Do you hear it? Do you hear it? They've discovered music! They've discovered it! They're ripping a fat solo right in the middle of the village. Right in the observatory. <laughs> My god, can you believe it? They learned about feet on the planet. <gasps> oh. Music's coming from the ruins. Should I go to these ruin thingies? Should I go to the 
go to the North Pole? Is that the North Pole? He meant the North Pole, this place. Okay. You could hear that in space. <laughs> Get a load of this one. All right. Ooh, that one looks so cool. I like the way that looks. Okay, uh, north is this. Yeah, this is the North Pole. You said you get great reception up here. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybex Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. 51, listen to Kurt play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gawson to their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. <gasps> oh. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex is doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it's probably nothing. Oh? Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. <gasps> Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. <gasps> Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Nice. <gasps> oh! That's the harmonica I was, I was hearing. And where is it? It's like... It's, it's in the middle. No, it's not in the middle. If it's moving away from me... No, it is kind of in the middle. If I can hold on it like this... If I move up, it's okay. I don't know. It's it's in it, maybe it's not in the middle. In the middle, <gasps> maybe maybe that thing. Remember, they said there was a fire. Oh, okay. We should we should. I gotta explore the earth a little more. Uh, and I need oxygen, don't I? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sub for two. Hold on, yeah. <laughs> hold on, <wilds. laughs> hold on. Let me get myself back down. <laughs> I jumped too high. Oh, there's fall damage. There's fall damage, guys. There's fall damage. I need to read these, uh, these ruins, too. The fuck is this? No, it's not the, it's not the scout launcher. What, what, what the hell is this? How does that work? Oh, there's a tree down here. Okay. All right, let's translate this. This was all untranslated, they said. There was none. None. As far as translations. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I could hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. <gasps> eye signal locator? Okay, okay. And then the next chunk. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The eye? <gasps> The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. All right, so let's try this branch. From thatch, this is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Okay, and then this other branch. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again the eye. An update, disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe the locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. The eye of the universe? Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, cassava. Like cassava root? Oh, these people are all... They're all uh, named after plants and things. 
Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easy. Okay, so they were searching for the eye and their locator is like not good enough during this conversation. And it's just spinning wildly. Oh. Oh, this is all smoothed out, so I can't read it. Right? Ooh. I meant to retrieve you. <laughs> Interesting. So so this is something I just can't read right now. Correct. Nothing behind? Or does it start here? What is this? Pick up scroll. <gasps> Insert scroll! <gasps> I see. I see, I see, I see. We can read it if the thingy's in the thingy. They're teaching me. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Wow. Wow. It's good to say. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin. Ember Twin. Ember Twin. Built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. That's the that's probably the one that I have named differently, the two that are attached and are closer to the sun than me right now. Ember Twin. I'm gonna assume that that's their name for it. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample Oh, Brittle Hollow. Oh! No, they have the same name. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample space available. Uh, I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. The crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Okay, Brittle Hollow South Pole. And then they were also saying um, something about the quantum moon locator on Ember Twin. What is Ember Twin? I will find out someday. Play recording. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? Wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Also safe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so someone, like, mildly was able to translate a teeny bit of it. Not to the extent I did. Figured out something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow and went there. Right? So I don't know what the f fuck this is doing. Oh, it's a puzzle! Neo underscore Armstrong underscore sub for eight. Hell yeah. What? Our jigs jiga prey. Oh, this is the thing trying to locate and it just spins wildly like they were saying. This is the eye of the universe that it's trying to find, right? So if I have it locate, what are you? Show me the way! That must be what those symbols are, right? <gasps> Located wherever the fuck I just tuned it to. Oh. Oh. Is, is that the sun then? It looks like the sun because there's little spiky bits. What are you? Are you going to be the, the water planet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that sound. Oh. <gasps> It's passing by so quick, so close. Is that what that sound is? <laughs> is that... Why do I still hear it like that? Oh. Anyway, next. Or was it letting me hear that? Oh, I think he was letting me hear the sound of that place, maybe. And then what is this? Is that, is that Brittle Hollow? It looks brittle. It looks like it matches the word brittle. I think he was letting me hear that. <laughs> Actually, there's no sound in space. 
All right, what are what are you? What are you? Come on, come on. Just go around. Just go around a little bit. Oh yeah, it's coming into view. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. So this thing is locating various uh places to go. Various places. So it does the sun, it does that watery planet, and does what I think is Brittle Hollow, probably. Uh, and then when I tell it to go find the eye of the universe, it's like, it's all fucked up. Oops. So this is how they used to do their stuff, the Nomai. We can assume, right? Right? Let me get some damn oxygen. Wherever the fuck that place was. <gasps> Ooh, wait, let me go in here. Let me go in here. Anything cool here? Is this ice? <gasps> what are these chunks? Oh! Oh. That's what passed by overhead. It's so cold here. Alright. Send me up. I send me back down. Alright, where the fuck is my ship? My ship. Okay. Back to the ship. And we should probably... I feel like I should go back to... Because I'm close here. I should go back to our home planet and, and explore and see if I can get any closer to that sound. That creepy sound. I hate that this is crashed here. Is this that guy's old planet? Uh, planet? <laughs> old ship. And uh, it's just sitting there because he's never leaving. <laughs> You know. All right, let me back in. And if I go to log now, <gasps> Ooh. that is the ice signal locator. Okay. Why is it so loud? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> I didn't get to look around. I didn't get to read. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna send me back now, right? I've gained the knowledge, but they're sending me. Yeah, that's what I get. <gasps> Is it that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I get it. We're in a time loop. Hold up, you're gonna wanna get the launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them, remember? Huh. Must be inhaling more fumes than I remember. That stuff is potent. So I guess I guess we're reaching um don't answer me if I'm correct, but my guess here for the plot is that uh, the universe or the world or whatever is about to fucking die. So we have to do everything real fast and learn the truth. Because we're going to die no matter what. That's my guess. Don't answer. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. 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 Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. I can pose any question I want. Actually, 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 I can ask whatever I want. All right. Once more into the breach, I guess I'm invincible. All right. Uh, lift off camera. Lift off. Cool. Lift off. This time, I don't actually want to leave entirely. I want to like. I want to move over. And I just want to go somewhere. Uh, would it be weird to land on this? Would that be odd? <laughs> Can I send myself out? <laughs> I'm going to land in the hole. Sick. All right. Sick. Sick landing. Can I put the gear on, though? I can. Oh! Let's move it. Let's move it. 
<laughs> we gotta move. That don't work. Please, I wish to turn. I wish to roll. All right, we'll climb up. Right here. Boop. Perfect landing, actually per- oh. I meant to get out of the chair. Okay, I got the suit on. I got the suit on so I can go wherever, right? Ugh. It almost sounds like a, you know, the guy snoring me. The, ah, it's like that. Is that, is that, is that a scout? I think that's a scout, right? Ah, doesn't sound like it. Oh yeah. Will I die if I go in? Please, please, I'm... <gasps> here we go. <gasps> oh, I'm definitely gonna die in here, right? Oh, hell yeah. Where's it taking me? Let's go. <gasps> no? I'm in the... I'm in the toilet of the universe. I don't drown under here. That's Esker. Is that thing in here? I'm just looking around. I'm looking around. I can't believe the thrusters still work underwater. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? Let me let me let me go through again. Or is it just gonna send me out? Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm in the sewers with the rats. <gasps> uh, two beings looking at the. Wait. Can I take out a camera and take pictures? Do I have a camera button? Can I do it with my scout? Photo mode. Check that shit out. Translator. Can I translate the text? I can. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools, so unfortunately we'll have to mine one of the other sites. Okay. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about site 2B? Shares a fam from similar formations in strata. This house promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B provides safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Oh, that's us, isn't it? Site 2B is safe. Colia says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life here. Those are my people, right? I'm gonna guess that's, a, that's what it is. On the opposite hand, new life. The species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Oh? They remind me of subterranean species that my mentor, Melore, once told me about from when our clan used to travel across the universe. Oh! I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. I was watching them once during a rest and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Yep, it's us. Yep. Yep, it's us. Yep. There's that. Wait, so does this one have writing then? Is there any? Is there any writing uh, connected to that one? Can I go into those caverns? <gasps> <laughs> I got sucked. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. Am I back to this? Oh no, it's another one. I got pulled. Oh, they was drinking down here. Huh? They're eating sardines down here. <laughs> this is someone's secret drinking spot. Where they eat their sardines and shit. I have plenty of oxygen. Let's keep going. Let's go back through. Oh my god, the secrets. The secrets. So we're semi-aquatic. Ah, that takes me out. 
I don't know if it's supposed to take me out, but it does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay, so the writing down there, they brought us to this planet. The Nomite. The fuck are those? Those are supernovas happening, aren't they? Oh, are we getting blown up by a supernova that finally reaches us? <gasps> That's my guess. Don't answer me. Ooh. Okay. So, the Nomai did the thing, brought us here, put us in the rivers, and they were like, oh, they love the water. So we're cool, like, um, little space beta fish for these people, right? That's my guess. Okay, there was another site. There's another site that I wanted to go to. So I did all this. Uh, I want to go. I want to go. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. It was the, the one that looks like cool ancient ruins. Oh, this too, honestly. I, I could have done this shit on foot, couldn't I? I'm going to do it anyway so I can practice. Oh wait, this is our... This, oh. What in our Sam Hills in this crater? Okay, hold on, hold on. Sick landing, sick landing. It's gonna be so good. Oh, beautiful. It's, it's teetering. It's teetering. Wait, I don't like that. It's teetering. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow, beautiful. Okay. Good enough for me. If it sticks, it's good. All right, here's one of our dudes. What the hell is this? Ugh! Tech tight. Hey, yo, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon. Didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something here. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. Ugh. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll send Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. So true. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want anybody setting to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Oh. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside anyway. Ooh, we're gonna stick the scout in there? <gasps> yeah, don't stick your arm in it. Wait, wait, in? In? It's going toward the light. Oh. Oh, it's an angler. Oh. Oh, it's stuck here now. Huh? Retrieve. <gasps> Wait, let me do it when it first goes through then. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Right in. Okay. Ooh, it's like very twisty. Okay, so... I can send it into here. It goes through... Into what looks like... It, it looks like the mouth of an anglerfish, but it looks like a dead one that had a... Uh, it must have eaten this dark bramble seed and died, and then the bramble grew out from it. Oh, it's at a different angle this time! Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's, 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 uh, no, let's take it back. So this is essentially a portal into the other spot. Uh, I threw a little scout as the seed. You did, did you? Hi, Shia! And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? 
This is going to be a chore to chop up and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or three just in case. Um, I think we have a bigger problem than that, dude. Sure the seed isn't from Timber Hearth? Back in my younger days, I explored everywhere there is to go on Timber Hearth and saw everything there is to see, and then some. Trust me, we don't have anything like this. I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble if it's from anywhere, actually. Oh. So the light is only coming from... Oh, no, like the whole thing's having light come out of it. Well, so then... I don't think I'm allowed in. <laughs> I, don't... I don't think they want me to go in. Maybe, maybe I won't. Try harder. <laughs> okay. Let's go in real fast and shit. Ready? Uh. Ah! It don't work. <laughs> Ah, it don't work. Welp, all right, I want to go to the ruins as well. Okay, so something from Dark Bramble landed here, which is kind of, kind of fucky. Kind of fucky, hit it with an ax? I don't have an ax. Maybe I could get one from whoever you mentioned had one, somebody, whomever. Okay, 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 okay. Ugh. Ugh. What is this? What is this? Is this one of the poles? Ooh. Can I go in here? Oh, I almost definitely can, right? Let me in! Oh. I... I... Well, it's staying. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Yeah, perfect landing. This is so beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Good enough. Made it. Made it in. Uh, is this like an entrance to it? Was this a nice cave to walk through to get to it? Probably. Oh, it totally was. <laughs> Oh, well, we went in real fast. You don't like that? Look, I play dangerously, okay? I like adventure. Mining site 2B. Oh, this is where they... This is where they put us. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, so all of their devices are, are interacted with, with the funny orbs. <laughs> Open sesame. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, this is, uh, that's one of their skeletons. What the fuck is this? There's music in here. Do I just go down? I should go down that way. Let's go down this way. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. It looks so cool. Oh. Is this the shape of that other planet? Is this the funny cave? Is this the funny cave? Is this the funny cave? Looks like the funny cave. Or looks like part of the funny cave. Do I just go down? I could probably just go down stepwise with these. I just don't know what this is. Oh, well, it's water. <laughs> I went into it. Well, it's water. Okay, so there's a bunch of these bits kind of cored out. I can probably send myself up with that, but what if it's super hot? I don't know. What is this? Can I touch it? Let me go into this. What is this? <gasps> Ooh. It sends me up through it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nothing, clearly. Oh. Sends me back up to the top? Pottery? Oh, this is the lift for our mining operation, isn't it, then? 
right? <gasps> Ooh, it's a lift. So I could just kind of go down there as much as I want. Okay. It's time to read. Oh. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin Project requires. Ash Twin Project. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers... Oh my god, so much writing. ...is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. <gasps> They're building a chamber inside Ash Twin, whatever, wherever that happens to be. Okay. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timberhurst ore only for constructing the shell. Oh, they were mining out the stuff that looks like stars. That ore. That's why it looks cored out, because they were, like, grabbing it. Uh, if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. <gasps> they were leaving some for us. They're sealing off all entrances. I hope they planned accordingly. I <laughs> get it because they're coring it out. <sighs> oh, you're so funny. Plus a million. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? True, true. You gotta try. And if they don't all land, it's okay. Okay, so they were, like I said, coring out the side. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Ban that guy. <laughs> no, I doubt he was funny. Pick up Ash Twin Project Stone? Projection Stone. <gasps> oh my god, it fits. Oh. Oh, I can see everything. What the f fuck is this? Ooh. One, two, three are on. Wait, there's three, there's one, there's two. Hold on. One is lit up, then two, the right one's lit up, then three, the middle one's lit up. Uh, oh no, wait, that was four, that was four. Nope, it's not step by step that. One, two, and then the third, the fourth. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, but we do have like, we can we can see something here. There we go. <laughs> I didn't like the way it clipped. Uh-oh. He's dead. Oh, can I put it there too? Hold on. Hold to one. Hold to one. Hold on. I can probably put in both of these. Okay, okay. <gasps> Makes it readable. Okay. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, I know. This... Or should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Oh, let's go blue. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'll be, I'd will be i be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Disaster, huh? Like the one I experienced, perhaps? Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Okay, so this is a separate project from what we were, like, reading about last time now. Oh. Wait, what happens if I drop it here? Nothing? Nothing? Seemingly nothing? Can I bring this somewhere else? I'm sure there's going to be another pedestal somewhere else, right? What the, I, I want to experience this again. What the hell was this? All right, what the what the fuck is this, huh? Look at these pillars of stone around me. What the hell is this, huh? I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, I could drop it here. Oh, I could put it anywhere, huh? All right. Wait, what if I? Can I just keep it? I don't think I can keep it. I'm gonna put it there. I don't want to lose it, right? Should I go that way? What's over there? Hmm. Yeah, no stealing. That's what I'm 
thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want to steal it. All right, we came from here. We did that reading. There's obviously that across the way. I wonder if I can get down there this way because I went left. Yeah, so now I'm just checking because now I feel like there might be more stuff to pick up. Now I'll go right. And let's go down more. Did, did all these people just kind of die in here? Oh, wait. Is that the one I was near before? Oh. Okay. My fuel! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I came from before. Okay, okay. So when I went down last time, I think I got caught up by something. I didn't actually get to go check wherever this goes, like, in the wall. Yeah, look at those colors. This is where I was, and then I dropped down, right? So what the hell did I see on the wall before? I saw what looked like a, like a, a way out or something almost. Not out, but into the wall, you know what I mean? Or was that this? That might have been this. Was this just the thing? Oh, this was the thing doing the coring, so it did it, and then it was just chilling after that. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anything else around the edge down here that I should know about? Or that I should see? Doesn't look like it. All right. Beat me up! I said, beat me up. Woo! Woo! Okay. I think I've explored everything in there. Maybe not, but I think I have. So we're back to here. Uh, let me walk out the normal way. I could probably take that up. But I haven't gone here, so I'm going to go uh, in this direction. Right? <laughs> Why do I hear music? Who knows? Who knows? hell is that sound? Is this where the death happens? Is, is this, uh, is it beginning now? Send me up where the fuck I'm going. Send me up. Woo! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so that was the thing that I saw before. This this shape was the one that when I placed that stone and it transferred me to the funny realm. Um, that shape is the one that I saw. So I think this is no my technology, right? That's going in a different direction this time. Last time it went in that direction. It's coming from there. Is that the brand of it? Hmm. Two to ship. Not even gonna talk to that guy. Two to ship. <laughs> Previously on Outer Wilds. She went into a hole. Yeah, screw that guy. We don't care about him. We got things to do. Places to go. Alright, I didn't go to the funny ruins. Oh, that thing's about to... No, that's a scout. Is it? I don't know what the fuck that is. All right, where are the funny ruins? Let's find them. Here. Here are the funny ruins. Is that where I just was? Is that kind of like, would it have let me out here? I gotta check, I gotta check. Huh? <gasps> Is it a puzzle? Do I get to do it? Ooh, okay. Something always aligning. Something of some sort always aligning. What the hell is this? That's bright. 
Oh, it's not like a, a, a doable puzzle though, it looks like. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, that looks cool. It looks like Bramble. Right? Uh, this was where I was, right? That was the thing from the other side that I jumped into before the uh, heat death of the universe finally took us, I think. All right, let's go somewhere then. Let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere cool. Let's go somewhere neat. If I don't, I don't, I don't think I can interact with that. I think so. Let's go exploring. Let us go to... Riddle Hollow is about to be near us. Okay. I could go for the interloper. No, I'll go, I'll go for a... Brittle Hollow! We'll go and see what, uh, what we find. What is it? It's that thing. We won't go for the interloper, whatever that is. And I have to make sure I don't hit everything on the way in. It's all this shit. Can I land on it? I wonder. Okay, brittle hollow. Let me, let me closer. Let me get closer. Okay. I'm going like this. I'm going like this. It's going to be a sick landing. It's going to be so cool. I mean, not. I'm getting too close. <laughs> I was going to turn all the way up and then land, but I think I was going too fast. <gasps> Krimis. It looks like Krimis over here. Ooh! Sick landing. Oh, that was great. Oh, it was beautiful. All right, let's go. Oh, we were a little far. That's fine. Is it cold here? Is it cold? It sounds quite windy. Ooh. Oh, is this their ship? <gasps> Can I steal their ship? I'm not allowed to steal their ship. Man, okay, okay. Oh yeah, there's just debris everywhere. Oh! Vividly Vivi subbed for one. The interloper. Oh, hi, Vivi. Thank you so much for gifting Vivi a sub. Thank you. It's fine. Spaceships bounce. That's what I'm saying. It's fine. Uh, do I? Well, these looks like these look like steps. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I think that's wonderful. Um, maybe I can't go in. Maybe I can't go in. Yeah, look, that one's about to hit, right? <gasps> oh, this one's just sending out shit. <sighs> we have to, we have to not die to one of those then, huh? That would be terrible and cringe if I died to a giant magma rock thingy. Asteroid, perhaps? Does anything happen or does it just like... Where did it land? Right there? I don't think it leaves a gift. I was hoping it would leave a gift. I don't think it does. Alright, let me tap the ship really quick to get oxygen and then uh, head back out. I don't think I need to be paranoid about it, but... I will for good measure. Okay, if that's there, then somewhere outside of it I was seeing... Something happens. There's this ship, and then... And then what? Is there somebody nearby? Anybody here? It's far. 303. They're on the other side! Hold on. I should take my ship to the other side, then. Fine, I'm wearing a suit. It's all good. 
All right. Let's go. Let's take this. And go around to the other side a little bit. Right? Let's find something else. Because I think that dome I can't do anything with right now. All right. Let's watch what happens. Oh, yeah. It just explodes. It doesn't even leave anything. Okay. Tree? Tree? Trees? Okay. This is where their little uh, spot is. Ooh, it looks like ruins. Beautiful. Actually a perfect landing. Holy shit. Why'd the lights go off? It was so bright two seconds ago. What? <laughs> My lights. Oh. Oh, it's one of those crystals that you're going to get pulled to, but it's, uh, uh, did not, not, it's broken? It's out of commission? We do have trees here, though, so I think I'm okay. Trees are growing. These are their cool... Yeah, their cool ancient houses or whatever. Ghost matter. We need to do this, then. It's in there. It's with the crystals, then? I can't... Oh. Okay, well, I can't go in there. Is there anything in there that I want? I don't think so. None in here, right? No. <gasps> oh. Somebody was here. Whoops. Oh. The journey here from the South Pole has been, uh, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Cool. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts from my uh, my campsite, across from my campsite, inside the ruined building with the trees growing out of it. it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's great. I really love that. Uh, the one with the, the one with the trees. So they're starting like underneath this? Stairs? Where the heck the stairs at? Okay. Stairs, huh? Oh, can I get can I get in? Let's go like this. Ooh, this hole was made for me. The dead bodies are a really nice touch. It's really nice. <gasps> Do you think they're down here? Oh. Oh, it's the it's the thingies. Oh, because this shit's all, uh, 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 broken. Ooh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to carefully walk around. And then I drop down, right? That's down. That's down. That's down. An identified signal nearby. Oh my god, it just breaks apart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Take a snapshot. I love pictures. I love pictures. Yeah, the surface is breaking. Yep. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I've made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Gravity cannon? And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, use up my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head down farther so I can refill my tank. Okay. That was the thing that I saw launch something, I think. And the dome. Those are showing what's on all the, the four points of the surface, I assume. Yeah, Brittle Hollow. Yeah, so that, that chunk dropped off and went God knows where. Um, I hear the banjo playing. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's go fast. Let's go fast. Let's 
go mega fast. I should have looked for the dude playing the banjo, probably, right? Yeah, seems fine, exactly. That fell? Is this the hanging city? <gasps> One, two, three, symbol. School district. Meltwater district. I Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District, Black Hole Forge. It's telling you how to get there. Okay, so so this that this would take me to the Meltwater. Meltwater. Oh, <gasps> the whole thing is made of that shit. Oh my God. One, this is school. Oh, I love that school district. Oh my god, it's so cute. Probably gonna die here, right? I wanna explore everything though. Um, um. Is this an old house? <gasps> Ooh, they have a nice, um, lovely sunken in living room. Just like a mid century modern home. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, uh, we can take that up. Let's go down. Ghost matter detected nearby. Where below? Okay, not not anywhere I'm walking. Oh. Oh, the crystals are um indicative that there's probably ghost matter. Well, I cannot pass through that. Okay. Ooh, it makes spooky ghost matter sound. So this is your first playthrough? Yeah, I've never played this before. Never ever. Alright, let's take this up. Where does this go? Wouldn't it be hilarious if it dropped me into a bunch of ghost matter right there? Kinda funny. Yeah, that was the bridge that had the ghost matter that I couldn't cross. Trees detected. Oh. Ooh, okay. Ghost matter detected nearby. Whoops. Uh. Okay. Well, not on me, though. I think we're safe from it. <gasps> More reading. Oh, school. Okay. School it is. Explanation of festivals. Oh, this writing looks different a little bit. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. Okay. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like Anana's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. Oh. Oh wait, I should continue on this one. Let me not read that for a second. A single festival could last a long, long time. Okay, and then this one was what? We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Stuck here? Why are they stuck here? Oh, a scroll. Now, can I swap it with this one? Can I just... Oh. Oh, 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 uh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense or tightly packed together. At this early, as this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Eww. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. Oh, That's scary to think about, even though Kano tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's someday. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Isn't that just lovely, Chan? Alright, is the is the death coming? The music's starting. The music's starting. Is it death time? <laughs> Let's go, Chan! But I didn't get to explore. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, the ghost matter was there. It's down that way. 
My desire to jump to that core is huge, but I don't think I should. I really want to jump down there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta bring this back? Oh! Fuel level critical! My fuel. <laughs> oh, God. The ghost matter. The ghost matter, guys. Okay. Uh, uh, can I even get back there? I don't know that I can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna appear. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Ah! I fail. Ah! <laughs> My scroll. <laughs> My scroll. I didn't make the jump. I didn't make the jump. I didn't land it. But we got to go into the black hole. It was fun. All right, there's a lot to explore, so we have to we have to go there a few times, I think, right? And I gotta find um the person that was there playing the banjo, anyway, right? I never stopped to talk to them wherever they are. This time is going that way. Okay. Bye. Speed run, speed run. Speed run. Uh, uh, my suit. Yeah, really good. Oh, pre flight checklist. I'll do that. That's why that option was there. I understand. Okay. Can't look directly at the screen, but how's the game going so far? Well, look at the damn screen, Joel. Uh, where'd that planet go? Oh, it's getting farther away. Uh oh. You know what? Let's go to the Hourglass t Twins because they'll be closer to me. Actually, no. We're we're approaching Brittle Hollow. Let's go back. Let's go back. Right, where the fuck is it out? I'm turning, I'm turning. Those are there, then it should be. No, it's not that one. Where the fuck is it at? Oh! There it is! There it is! Found it! Let's keep accelerating so we crash land on the planet. It'll be so cool and great. Okay, okay. All right, so that's, there's a hole there. It's getting kind of <laughs> brittle on that side. Please, no, I wish to approach. Uh, thrusters? <laughs> thrusters? Okay, okay, I can approach it again. Um. So where do I want to land? All right, hold on. Let's check out the gravity cannon first. I think that's what it is. It looks like it. That looks like what I would probably call a gravity cannon. Boom. Okay. I want to see it. Oh, it's dark. All right, so let me not use too much of my fuel too. <laughs> Unidentified signal nearby. Unidentified. Ooh. All right. So is that thing there? This is, I guess, what's powering. Yeah, it or for three. Hell yeah. Hey, thank Keep you so much for the three months. Hello. Hey, this game is so hard. Good. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. I think this is the way out. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go there. Maybe that's for later. Maybe that's for later. Or something. Oh my god. Let me, let me go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I 
want to go up there. I don't want to use too much fuel, though, man. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I guess starting with some fuel is probably, like, like generating thrust probably uses a bunch. And then as I keep going, I can, like, you know, go in the air and use little bits. Oh, I can't walk up that. I cannot walk up that thing. I'll just go this way this time. If only there was a way to refill fuel. I'm sure there is that I just don't know yet. But that's the point, is I'm not supposed to know yet. I'm supposed to figure it out eventually. Okay. That's cool. That's great. Is everyone unharmed? Oh, it's a recording. I can go left, right. No one's badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Is this their escape pod? This, this is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod two or three? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... That's the moon is approaching again! <gasps> Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Ah, uh, it's a volcanic moon. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. Debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I've observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Okay. Is this their distress signal? I guess so. Uh, can I go in? Let me in your ship. Ooh. Launching escape pod three, escape pod two, now launching escape pod one. Oh, it's in bands. It's in these bands. Okay. We get in flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel... Okay, this is the order. I think it's top down then. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated awaiting departure from vessel. And then they got... They launched three, then two, then one. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Ver verdict hospitable. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, none of this. These are just lights. Ooh. I assume I move this around, right? Eh. Yeah. Oh! You know what? Oh! <laughs> the door hit it, and then... <laughs> the, the door hit it, and then it broke. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Dig, you're the best. No, you're the best, IPN. You're the best. Oh, oh my God, I almost got caught on that edge. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Is this how you're supposed to first discover this place? I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's fine, right? Ooh. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Although this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. I wouldn't call this safe. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. I would never fucking live on this planet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they, they should have just gone to a different one from the start, honestly. This, this is, this is the, the worst. Okay, and I heard the guy's banjo. I guess not. Do these break? I don't think they do. Ooh, that's the eye. Uh, let's start down here, yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at how structurally sound it all is. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Okay. 
The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. <gasps> oh. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? This is the answer, guys. This is the answer. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Okay. So they got a cool signal. They called it the eye. Uh, they saw a physical thing. It was older than the universe. However, they managed to date it. Um, which means that this is the answer to something. Life's questions, you know, whatever. The eye is the knowledge, right? Even told him not to help. Damn. Imagine someone tells you not to do something and then you're like, <laughs> here's the thing though. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be so crazy to, if I did it? Chat, don't say rip bozo. Don't do it. Ooh, and then you're like, <laughs> rip bozo. <laughs> no. <laughs> so easy, man. So easy. Yeah. That looked like liquid dropping. Was this trees? Okay. Luckily, we do have the occasional tree. Oh. We can hear the other's escape pod's distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. <laughs> so, so sad. I'm crying. Oh. I don't know what to do without you. What is this? The eye is beams into the jellyfish. The jellyfish got the bramble, the, the bramble around the jellyfish. Protec. Protec or not protec? Sent out escape pods. Okay, so the thing got caught by the bramble. They sent out escape pods. One is stuck in the bramble. One is uh, on the twin thing and one is here. Right? That's what I'm reading. Right? I can read cave paintings. I know how it works. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Okay, is that the big thing it's called? The, the jellyfish is the vessel. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Oh. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid our friends in Escape Pod 3. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, 3 was the one that got stuck. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Everything seemed right, and they got, you know, deaded, as we say, by the, the bramble anyway. <laughs> is what I'm seeing. <laughs> the bramble, it ate us. Uh, that looks like a spot I would drop down from. I'm gonna go back the way I came. <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Oh! Oh, this is dropping! Oh, we're just gonna die in the black hole, aren't we? Goodbye! <laughs> it can actually destroy this the shit I'm on? Oh! Okay. Wait, where am I? <gasps> it sent me out into space? Oh, wait, this is the thing I can walk on, isn't it? Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, wait, let me, let me slowly approach. Okay. Wow! Okay, so it doesn't always 100% kill me. Let me in! Oh my god. <laughs> let me in. Ooh! 
What am I in? Trees detected. We got trees in this bitch. Okay. What the fuck is this? Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, Ember Twin Projection Stone. You want to go to the, the place? Okay, launcher thing. Send up. To... That's where we just were. Brittle hollow, right? Because there's the dome on it. I think. Oh, wait. They're telling me. Hold on. They're telling me. <laughs> Last time you died and then fell into it? Really? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the Black Hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Oh, fuck. Okay. I broke my legs. Got you. It's because I went through, like, super fast. And, and yeah, I hit, my, <laughs> I hit my head on the way down. Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought it was insta-death. Got it. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. Okay. If you look up while the station's rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. <gasps> oh. Oh. That's so cool. Okay. Um. So it would have to be aligned. Okay. Well, <laughs> where does this go? Can I put this on a, on a, on a, doop. All right, let me find something. Surely there's a cool pedestal I can put this in. Oh. Oh, it's a glass floor. Um, what if I put in here? <gasps> this will turn it. This will turn it. Oh. <gasps> Okay, so I'm turning it that way. And then what if I go like this? It moves it the other way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wait, then where the fuck do I put this stone? I didn't see a thingy to put this in. Hey. Hey. Found it here. Ember twin projection stone. Projection stone, huh? Oh, I need to. Oh, I need to stand on during that. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I understand, and it warps me to this thing. Nice, nice, very nice. Oh, sorry. Where the fuck is my ship? Can I refuel in my ship? I think I can. Oh, you're out there? <laughs> oh, it's a little far. Okay. We'll go where we can with what we can inevitably die. Is that the thing I was on? Is that a different thing? I think that's a different thing. I can't tell. Ooh, what if one of those kills me? Alright. I'll use what little fuel I have to just read more shit. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes reaches us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Phantom moon? I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Okay, that's the name of the volcanic moon. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. Oh. oh, it like separates? The nights the moon circles the planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Fancy moon. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. No, thank you. Yeah, there'd be none of us left. There can't exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. I agree. Compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis could it be a shift in the light spectrum. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Okay. Okay, so the cool moon 
There's some sort of phantom moon that occasionally appears, he was saying. What the heck is the phantom moon? That place looks spooky. Alright, um... Well, where do I go if I have no fuel and my ship is so far away? Ugh. Let's do that to not die. There's water here. Oh, it's not it's not all ice. Ooh. Yeah, the the smoon, the other one, you know, the smoon. If you get asked, let me say. Oh, okay. The rule is if I ask and I go chat, can someone tell me blah 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 and it's like painfully obvious that I'm actually helping for or asking for help or you know, inquiring. That you could tell me, but if I'm just saying a question aloud, most of the time, I am just trying to, you know, talk to myself. <laughs> oh, they were sitting. If I go, oh my god, then how? Blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, like, what I'm thinking, for the sake of you knowing what I'm thinking. Black hole, white hole. Dude being teleported. To our friends on Brittle Hollow. I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. <gasps> oh my god. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we built what we built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasama, I hope you're reading this. Our fuel do be looking mighty fine. Our fuel's great. You know, no issues, no issues. Perfect fuel. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Oh, there's an issue with it. Don't tell Kasava. <gasps> Secrets. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Something was wrong with the warp tower a little bit, and they were just like, oh, ha. <laughs> Hee -he. Don't tell them, though. All right, the thingy to go down doesn't exist. Oh, <gasps> I can read this now? Departure time, arrival time. <gasps> return warp status charge stepped onto warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Oh, okay. Can I, can I read these from here? Probably not. It's a bunch of discs to read? That's so fucking cool, man. Where can I even go? Uh, I was up there, I was here. Do I just die on this snowy abyss? And this is where I would bring that thing. So can I, can I, oh! Using oxygen as propellant? No, thank you. Holy shit, no, thank you. So can I go back, grab the thing and bring it here and then read it in those pedestals? I assume so. I assume I can. <laughs> Send me back. <laughs> Cool. Uh, oh! Oh, it's here. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> All my homies hate causality. <laughs> we don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, there is a tree. Make sure I'm good. Send me back. Oh, yeah. Okay. See if I can read these. <laughs> Me getting warped. Yeah, I feel like my brain is getting sucked out. It's really cool though. Oh. Hold on. Hang city below 50 meters. So this should have been the way to get there, but it's currently not. Because that thing's broken. Where the fuck was the thing at? To read this. Was it in the other one? Wait a damn minute. Down here? Here we go. Alright, there are two of these. Let's do this one first. Ember Twin Projection Stone. Remy and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke. And, poke? Poke? And they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Oh, the timing is off. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. 
The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to a small degree? It's the redshift, guys. It's the redshift messing up your calculations. I don't know. That's my guess. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Anomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. <gasps> time travel. I am going to assume this is them first discovering time travel, which is how I can get sent the fuck back when I die. That's my guess. Don't tell me. Poke, as Pi is confident, the reading uh, is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. High Energy Lab, huh? We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twin's equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Ember Twin. The fuck is Ember Twin? I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Oh, yeah. Yes, I hope so too. Ah, uh, yes, as I thought, chat. As I, as I posited before. Hmm, yeah, so. I remember. Where the fuck am I? Oh, we're near the sun. What the fuck is this? Take me back. Take me back. I'm not allowed to leave this sun. It's VR chat. <laughs> okay, so we're near the sun. Uh, and there's this thing here. Uh, what planets can I see? You can see that thing. I assume this is on the twin thingy. That do be the sun. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay, so that is whatever, uh planet thingy. I think that's the Hourglass Twins. Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Oh, Ember! Oh. 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 What's going on there? Okay. <laughs> my ship... <laughs> Wait, what is my ship on? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's on meth. Yep. That's the answer. So cool. So cool. Could I use my um my oxygen to to launch myself into space? I'm not trying to drain my oxygen, but it does every time I jump down. Um, can the death of the universe arrive quickly so that I can, um, go back and have my ship again? I miss it. Three minutes of oxygen remaining? Ooh. Inner Tames, my favorite game. That's the sequel coming up soon. Yeah. I will just walk around while I can then. And maybe I'll choke and die, you know? can't jump that way. All right, we walk, we walk. We walk. I just joined this channel stream and I have no context. What solar system is this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Well, there's the music. There's the music, guys. It's time. It's okay. Three minutes of oxygen. Well, we don't have three minutes left on this earth. I miss it up there. I miss it on Earth. Oh yeah, there are the twins. Is it the sun exploding? What is it? Sun do be looking very red. seconds of oxygen remaining. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. 
stare at the sun until we die. <laughs> that's, that's a spicy meatball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's imploding on itself. Ah. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes. <gasps> How beautiful. How gorgeous. Oh, we're getting pulled in. Or is it expanding? I think it's expanding. I can't tell either way. I think we're getting pulled in. Well, I think it's expanding and then we're also getting pulled in by the gravity of that, but you know. Supernova explosion into planetary nebula into white dwarf. Yeah, yeah. Nino, well, I found out my ship can end up on the edge of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> At least that douche moon died first. So true. So true. Fuck that moon, dude. Just throwing shit at me and scaring me all the time, man. Fuck that moon. Don't actually fuck the moon, but you know. So what is that? If there's something over there. You can't stop me. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, let me quickly check. Uh, here the log. There's a whole bunch that we added. That moon has three hot holes. I mean, you're not. All right, smash or pass. Chat, smash or pass. The moon outside of Brittle Hollow, in Outer Wilds. Pros? It's warm. Three usable holes. Cons? Uh, always moving at very high speeds. Uh, burning hot lava. Majora's Mask was hotter. Oh, you're a teeth person, aren't you? All right, let's read. Let's read a little. Okay, the, uh... The statue looked at me, and then... Gavro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue. The answer about the statue might be in the, the deep there. Okay. Rybeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. He discovered an old Nomai path near... They use they pronouns for everyone, right? Did, are, are these genderless? The, the, like, completely genderless, this race? Uh, they discovered an old Nomai path near their campsite on the equator. The path starts inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it, right? We saw that. Uh, Rybeck reached the crossroads and continued downward in search of oxygen. So maybe I can find Rybeck. Not sure, actually. I, I think they do, right? Right? They have he's and she's? Oh, okay. Their programs are <laughs> dead and gone. <laughs> their pronouns are fish and... Uh, Fuckable, am I right? The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow South Pole. Ah, okay. I don't know, you guys seem like fish fuckers. That one was for you. All right, so I should go down and try and find Rybeck. And then figure out what's up with that dome that I couldn't get into. When I launch my scout into the sea that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Right, we don't really know what's up with that yet. But it was from Dark Bramble. I think we'll find that out later, right? Guilty as charged? Ugh. 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 All right, so let me find my dude, uh, Rybeck. Found the fish diddler. Oh, yeah, orbital booty saying she kind of spit in though. Oh, we found the fish fucker in chat. See, that's what happens. You say one thing about fucking fish and every chat's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then there's always got one guy who's like, oh, she's spitting. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> you know? There's always one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> you just get... That's bait. You throw out one little line of bait and someone's like, let her cook. Uh, no, no, no. That just means you're a fish fucker. <laughs> oh, got him. We found him. All right. Let's try and find Rybeck. Let's go back there and try and find our way in. Our way in. Woo! 
leave orbit. Oh yeah, it starts off significantly more yellow. So I guess that's how I can tell uh, how we're doing. What the fuck is this? This is the moon. Brittle hollow. You know what it is. Okay. So, 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 I'm trying to slow down. Let me slow down. God, slingshot. Fine, that's cool too. Ah, ooh. what is this? I want to land in a different spot every time so I can see as many new things as possible. Perfect landing. Honestly, that was incredible. Incredible, as they say. Okay. Where are we? We're not on any pole. We're on the equator. I can see it on my mini map. Are the planets so tiny? They are tiny. You think that's average size? <laughs> Hold on. Why are you why are you so concerned about the size of the planets? You're like, um, um, those aren't small, they're average. Why are you so why are you so concerned, huh? You seem you seem to be like really um personally affected. Oh, I think this is the thing that Astral projects you to to the fucking, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Black hole, white hole moment. <gasps> is that a walkway I can jump down to? Oh my god, I'm gonna go for it. Who needs legs? Ugh. Oh my god, so easy. Nice. Nice. <laughs> but the planet's thick. Are, 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 hold on. When I as soon as I entered the Outer Wilds category on Twitch, did I just get like all the planet fuckers showing up? <laughs> What's going on? The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. The shuttle. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. <gasps> I will call the shuttle home. Okay. Moonacy. Oh. Ugh. What is this? Crossroads. Oh, there's so many ways to go. I want to see what that was, though, so let's let's head back up. What the heck did that do? What did that do? Hi, Ozzy. What did that do? New ship. New ship? Southern Observatory. Oh, okay. So we can keep going in these different directions. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I'm taking it up. Oh, oh. Oh my god, this is so cool. I am here, says Salatum. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at my moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. I don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand that they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. So cool, Salon. I'm so cool. Oh, I like this. I want to. I want. I want. I want to live in this. Oh, the fuck does that do? I also have one of those. What the fuck does this do? Beam me up. Oh my god, we're taking the shuttle. Oh my god, bye ship. Where the fuck are we going, though? Oh, I'm moving in, in tandem with Brittle Hollow. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a great thing we know how to fly the shuttle. Yeah, we, we know, we know. I completely understand how to fly it. Completely understand everything that is supposed to be done here. Oh! <laughs> Ew! So, so right does nothing? Center takes me back, left sends me out. Into orbit, somewhat. Ooh! Oh, it's so dark. Oh, there we go, there. Interesting. I'm sure there's something I have to do with that further. At some point. Oh! I broke it. I broke it. I, 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 I broke it. Roby Flex, thank you for the three months. <laughs> I broke it. Geek inventing new ways to lose her ship. Always. That's what it's all about, baby. Oh, that's how you get up, up. Up, up. The crossroads. Okay, so now shit's starting to, to break apart more, right? Right? That's what I believe I am I am seeing here. Okay. So is there anything on all these pathways? I know there's like the school and, and those areas and stuff. What, what about this? Is all of this anything? I don't know. So I'm just going to... Oh, go wherever. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> I almost fell off. I'm going to go this way because I saw this kind of like glowing whatever over here. <gasps> oh, that loaded in. Okay. That was... Oh, that's the big bridge that I crossed that first time, isn't it? What's with the circle? Is... is mm, I feel like there's probably nothing here, but if I don't... Walk around thoroughly. I also feel like I will miss something. Right? Like, why Why would this all be walkable? Otherwise. Why would it have little lanterns on it? Yeah, adventure. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna go back. Not, not to there. Uh, to my guy. My guy with the banjo. Okay, let's see if I can take that bridge, wherever that was. Let's find a bridge. I think it's this way. God, it's terrifying. Oh! Oh, 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 wait, I didn't see this before. Send me up or down? <gasps> oh! That just sends me right into it. Right? I don't know what I would want to use that for yet. Ooh, okay. There we go. There we go. This is good. This is good. And this was where I was. Okay. I hear homeboy playing the banjo. Where is he? The hanging city. Yeah. Directly below me. Oh, I don't want to jump. Can I see him from here? See all that stuff. See him. I don't want to. I don't want to just jump. Maybe I should. Hold on. Oh yeah, there's a platform there. Oh <gasps> yes. He does have a little spot. No, no. Oh, I should have made that thing go up. Oh wait, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh. Or is that a different thing? It's a different one. That's a different one. <gasps> oh my god, incredible. Where the fuck is he? Is he through here? Oh, he's through here. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Adventure, am I right? <laughs> Love adventure. You see that? Stayed. Oh, you launched. That's great. 
Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. <laughs> like me. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. Oh my god, he's going to die here. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all the way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Oh my god, I saw so much. I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow. So then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they landed their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? Where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Yeah. Okay, uh, the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. Really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Uh, so true. All right, Hanging City. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something? He says so scared. Where should I explore? Oh, where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust. Including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Ah, that's what I thought. Mage, thank you for tier three for eight months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. Okay, I'll tell him. All right, he's an archaeologist, or, uh, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all hit Timber Hearth Scott right now. Nucky, my cat, you cannot eat my food. You cannot lick my bowl. Disallowed. I forbid it. Okay. He tried. He tried to sneak up and grab it. I have, like, one piece of pork here. <laughs> he went for it. Brittle Hollow is rich with some of my history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow, Hollow Nomai, I'm your Hearthian, or, um... I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? All right. All right. Oh, oh, I thought I was pressing B. See you later. All right, we'll be... We, ah! We met him. Refuel jetpack. <gasps> He's got fuel. Oh! Okay, Ryback is fuel for us. Uh, yeah, you're so far below all of this shit. <gasps> the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, we're going. Uh, let's go. Let's go right. I don't know if I influenced it, but I feel like I did. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. Is there anything on that side? I don't think so. Oh, I keep feeling it's like it's gonna throw me out there. <gasps> I could step on it. Ooh. I could step on this one too. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I, oh. Can I take it to there? I wonder. Be welcomed in this. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's very important. Be welcomed in this palace. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That's cool. 
If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Wow. Knowledge for my journey, huh? That's where I came from, right? No, wait. Wait, no, it's not. Is it? Is that where I want to go? I think that is where I want to go, because that's the other one. Yeah. Okay, let's go up the elevator. And hopefully we won't die or something. That would be cool. Bitch, what stairs? I know. <laughs> there are no fucking stairs. I guess we'll take this. I guess these are the stairs. Okay, we're here. Uh, oh. Stairs? To the right? Southern Observatory? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have got to go in. Oh, is this shit gonna crumble? <laughs> That's so cool and great. Nero! Thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you. Unidentified signal nearby. Uh, we'll check that out in a second. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon with Evil Toaster and his raiders, we shall descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help us on our journey. Hello. Hi, Toaster. Thank you for the raid. I'm in space. And I'm learning the secrets of the universe. Because I'm trying to read passages from this ancient civilization that was left around on all these different planets and things to figure out what the fuck happened to the universe and i'm stuck in a time loop we're playing outer wilds today and i, I started today i haven't played it before um i don't know anything about this game other than what i played so far <laughs> but i like it so far we're um we're exploring this planet called brittle hollow and everything keeps breaking apart and i keep dying and it's great <laughs> it's really cool our stream was good You're, were you playing with uh was it was fruit and fruit and fruit and someone else and chibi yeah fruit and chibi how was it was it fun was it fun chibi's cracked at apex really did you get carried? I hope you got carried. <laughs> I hope you got fully carried. I haven't been playing and I wanted to hop back on. It's fun, but the game just updates. The servers were fried. Th yeah, that's... that's. I, I saw a lot of my friends on today and I was like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll play like a round or two. And then I was like, you know what? It's patch day. I don't like playing on patch days. <laughs> I figured I would just wait. I would just wait around and, and give it like a, a day or two or something. Play on the non-peak hours, we'll see. For now, we're chilling with Outer Wilds, because uh, I don't have to worry about servers with this one. But yeah, I'm just reading the secrets of the universe right now. Thank you so much for the raid again. I hope your stream was great. Rest if you need to. From Plume. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? The fuck? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Oh. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Oh, I think the rock is the one that we had on display at our home planet that was like moving. Hypothesis, this rock shard's presence, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? <gasps> Remember the spooky rock? Jesus Christ. Do you remember the spooky rock? I remember the spooky rock. Oh my god, I can't see shit. 
Okay, so where was the signal? That's what I heard before. Wasn't there a nearby one? Oops. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, yeah, there's, there's... Is it up there? It's up there, it's up there. Oh, ooh. Okay, okay. <gasps> yeah, this is the same materials that Spooky Rock that we had, uh... On our home planet. Tower Shard. Quantum, fl quantum fluctuations. Wait, what if I look away at it from it? <gasps> oh, it moves! Oh, oh, we're... Uh, okay, the universe is about to die. It moves. They said the trees move, too. If I go like this, does that tree move? Can I get on it? I want to get on it, but if I look away from it, it'll... It'll go. <gasps> You're right, I'm going to look away. I'm going to do it. Where's it go now? Oh. oh, it was right there. Ah! <laughs> I want to climb it. What if I get, like, in it? Oh, yes. Oh, that was right next to me. <gasps> Survived. Survived. It's spooky because it has tiny feet. It has little feet that carry it everywhere it wants to go. <laughs> Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Hmm. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the, fr the wandering moon, sounds the same. Oh! The wandering moon that they were talking about before is also some quantum shard shit. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Hmm. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? <gasps> Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering or quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. <gasps> oh, and then when I go like this, it'll be gone. It moved. Oh, it's a spooky. Oh, oh the way it moves is so scary. Oh. All right, well, I think I think we're almost out of time. Oh my God, it reappeared there. We're almost out of time in this area, right? Oh. That's all shifting. I need to figure out what's up with this while I'm here too. But I don't know if I'll have the time. Let's see. Oh! The music hasn't started yet, but it probably will. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Quantum shart. Thank you so much. <laughs> the quantum shart. It's crazy. Nice. Can I get in? Is there an entranceway? Or... Or... Surface integrity, 1%. That's a little scary. <sighs> I don't think I can get in there. Oh, most of the planet is gone. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Um. Um, um. Oh, my stick is acting weird. Wait, do you see how it's like... It's like locking up. It's cause wait. <laughs> it was cause it was cause my cat was sitting he's sitting on my mouse pad next to my mouse and his some of his fur was under the mouse and it was like repeatedly triggering the mouse. <laughs> Nucky. He's just chilling over there. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna die from this, huh? Oh, I didn't die. How do I get in there then? I can't just jump from this because then I'll lose my, my gravity, yeah. Ow. It's okay, I don't need knees where I'm going. Can I hop off of this? No, because it sends me through this. Oh, fuck. I don't want to do that. There's got to be a way. Maybe not. How would I get in there? Is there a door that I missed and I'm just like... Yeah, there's readable stuff in there. Why do I get in? Just walk it off. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Ooh, how do I get in? I can't drop down, can I? Let me, let me go back up. I don't know if I can. Bones are overrated. <laughs> you don't need them. Fit through the bars. I probably could. I probably could squeeze myself through there, you know. Trees detected. See, now when I do this, we're too high up. Uh, and there's no way to drop through here, right? Oh! It finally happened! It happened! It happened! It happened! It got launched out into space! Alright, well... We out here. Uh, the sun is probably gonna go crazy soon. Can, can I, can I, can I move toward this? I think it's moving away from me too fast. Oh my god, it is. It's moving away from me too fast. <laughs> Well, this is where we die. Do you think I can land? No, no, no. Actually, if I get pulled into the orbit of that planet, I will just die on impact, right? Oh my god, I'm trying to move toward it, but it keeps moving away. <laughs> ah. Oh god, I'm heading toward it. Oh god, I'm heading toward it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm getting pulled in! Are we gonna hold it in water though? Maybe. Ugh. Oh god, where the fuck am I? Whoa, will I be okay in the water? Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So we got this watery planet that I haven't been to yet. Uh, giant space jellyfish. The current is just carrying me. Oh, fuck. What is this place? What is this place? Alright, I'm trying to swim, like, like in here a little bit. What is with the core? What's with the jellyfish? Here, can I... Oops. Can I call it back? Okay. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. It's going. It's going. It sees nothing. Very helpful, very cool. Okay, can I, can I? Can I get down there or does the current like hold me here? Oh, there's the music. All right, universe is dying. Uh, yeah, if I try to go deeper, I can't because of the current. What is that? Quantum fluctuations. All right, whatever that is, I'm heading toward it. I'm heading toward it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now we're gonna die and we're wet. I know. We're in the ocean and everything. Oh, I wish it weren't constantly bobbing like this. Oh, this is bramble here. Ooh. 
Uh, wait, the bramble pokes my fucking... My spacesuit, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh! Oh! Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh. Oh, it must be in there. Okay. Ooh! Oh, it stabs a jellyfish. It's the bramble, guys. It's the bramble. All right, well, well, the universe is about to die, so let's just accept. Let's accept it. There it goes. There goes the sun. The sun has officially, you know, done its thing. Give me a little salute as we, uh, as we get enveloped by whatever. What if I died to the ghost matter instead? Here it comes! Here it comes! Ah! It's kind of cool doing it on that planet, actually. I like the way it, like, it happens, you know? <laughs> you just get flashback. <laughs> I like the way it happens on that one. It's neat. Yeah, the way it gets dark, too. Yeah, because the whole thing is that the sun is, um... It, at first, it's it's becoming a red giant, right? Which, way too quickly, and then it's exploding. So it has to it has to darken for a second, right? I don't know that it has to, but that planet was cool. There's still so much I have to read at Brittle Hollow. There's like, there's too much I haven't done. But should I? Let's take a little vote. Should I go back to Brittle Hollow? Or should I go to one of the other ones that we haven't done? I was thinking about the twin, uh... The twin what's it's The twin planets. I haven't been on the quantum moon yet. We did see Ryback, which is what I wanted. All the quantum shit is probably very important as well. Up to you. I asked you for a reason! <laughs> I asked you because I want you to know. You to know? I want you to tell me what you want to see. I'm really, yeah, I'm really curious about the escape pods and the vessel and all that, but I assume that's a lot of main story. I did the Hanging City. There's more to explore here. Yeah, of course. Oh, my mines. So those were the mines that were under our planet. Okay. New paths open. Time to explore. Yeah, like I should try another one. It's interesting to see other streamers go to the giant steep first and spend forever without seeing the sun explode. Oh yeah, if they try to explore that place first, I feel like uh, they would never see what's going on. They would never look at the sun, right? Because it's, you're covered by that atmosphere. So they, <laughs> they would just have no clue what's happening every time. <laughs> We'd always land on the sun. Mm, what, a, what, a, what a thought. Central chamber side Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. I'm very curious about that. Yeah, I think the things I most want to see are the Ash Twin. And then looking for the escape pods. Let's let's do that. Let's go there. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, and then the twins. Uh, this way, this way. Okay. Are they moving toward me or away? I don't even know. Is that their moon there? Let's land on the ash twin if we can. Oh god, they move so fucking fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's something orbiting it. Let's try and match its, uh... What's the word? Velocity? Ooh. Getting 
incredible incredible did you see that oh holy shit it's quite sandy you don't say oh 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 my cat's on my mouse again lucky you gotta there you go Ooh, it moves so fast oh there's a lot more in that one okay the ash twin huh they said it was on like they said it was on the south pole of the ash twin Oh, oh, they're linked by it. It's Malak sucking in the ash. Oh, Hell yeah. that's, cool. Salute. that's cool. Malak, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Here we go. Gee, um, I think it's buried in some ash. Gee, um, I think your ship is taking a trip. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, can I just... Can I just... Oh, 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 oh. Sending me up? <gasps> then how do you get in? Oh, how do you get in? That's blinking. Should I go through the other side, maybe? It's fine. I don't need my ship. I'm exploring this place. Hmm. All right. If I go to the North Pole, maybe there's something on the other side. Wait, can I check my, uh, my log? I think that's on the ship. We'll see. The ash level's dropped a lot already. Are you saying things that I shouldn't be hearing? Betten Hall, huh? Huh? Are you saying things that, that I shouldn't be uh, aware of? Huh? <laughs> mm hmm. All right. Uh, what did they say about the Ash Twin? Uh, Quantum Moon, all that stuff. The seed. Oh, yeah. Gabra was on. Yeah, Giant Steep. Okay. Ash Twin Project. Uh, the central chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. That's all they say on that. All right. Maybe I go land on the other one. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think that's the way. Here we go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, incredible. Okay, let me well, let me get closer to a uh, something. <laughs> closer to anything. I'm just kind of letting us bounce around a little cuz I'm trying to not get too high up. I don't know if it's a, a, a rational fear, but I keep feeling like I'm going to get, like, swept into the orbit of the sun. So I'm trying really hard not to do the thing. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this goes through this ridge in the center. All right. All right, let's leave it right there. Seems safe. Totally safe. Hundred percent safe. See? All good, all good. Oh! There's more shit on there. Oh, it passes over that too. Oh, it's exposing more. Okay, okay. Hmm, suddenly it's a little dark. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, let's go to this. little ash down there. Ooh. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll just go for it. Yo, lol, as they say. 
Woo! Okay, the gravity's not too bad, too. Actually, it's, it's lower gravity here. How do we not get hurt? Because I am constantly tapping the sticks in opposite directions and trying to not go too fast. I'm doing everything I can to, to try and not die. Ooh. <gasps> What's here? It's kind of off kilter though. I don't know if I can like land on it properly. Do you think I can? Let me see. I think I can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, so there's another one of these things. This was a teleporter? A warp... A thing using warp tech. Is there anything down here? Oh, there are these stairs. Ah. Ah, yes, reading. Shuttle's currently resting at the comet. Oh. Gravity cannon or call the shuttle home. I see. I think I understand it better. The sunless city. Ah. <gasps> Uh... Is there a way for me to get through that? Oh my god, that's me! <gasps> that's me! So is there a way for me to get through the ramp? There's gotta be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Have a, a, a weaponry or like the ability to punch, even. I don't have any of that. Let me call this thing back. Let me, let me, let me see what happens. Oh, let me see what happens with it. Nothing. I can't call the shuttle. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, uh. My oxygen's going. All right, activate gravity cannon. Cannon. Oh. Oh, it was already there. Oh, that was the shuttle. Holy shit. How did it get there? I thought it wasn't there before. Unless I did it and I didn't even realize because I didn't see the animation. Maybe that was it. Ah. Ooh. Oh, it's like way off kilter though, and it's got fucking shit stuck to it. We got the trees in here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a funny suit. Uh oh. From Clary. I fear our situation may be dire. You just called it? Yeah, I didn't think I did because I, I guess it like fell down in that spot. I didn't see it on the platform, so I was like, oh. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they sent it inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. <gasps> uh oh. They dead. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pie, come back to me safely, my friends. Oh, Poke and Pie died. They dead. And your plants aren't taken care of? Ugh. Yeah, they left their drip. What is this? M maybe, maybe they didn't go then if, uh... If that is still there? That shit's loud. Ooh. Okay, that just sends us back. Alright, let's try right. Whoops. 
Right. Nothing. Maybe that's only when I'm up. Alright, send me out. Okay, I sent myself out. Let's try right. <gasps> Is it turning me? Is it turning me? I'm trying to figure out what this is doing. All right, let's do left again. Nothing? It looks like I'm the same position in relation to this, right? You stopped? I, I didn't feel like I was moving when I when I said wait, I'll send it out again. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we're near the sun. Oh, oh, go back. Oh go back. Oh go back. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> we were going ahead. I got pulled into the orbit of the sun. <laughs> I got toasted. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I see, I see. I understand, I understand. <gasps> I look up. Okay, what the fuck is that that it sends out every time? What is it? I see. I mean, last time I piloted one, I didn't feel like it was moving. I may have just been incorrect, though. <gasps> Neto! Thank you for the two or three for 23 months. Oh, my God. Almost. Almost. Almost 24. Huh? the interloper that they were just talking about in those logs that Clary was talking about. Okay, the Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. I still have more to explore there. Okay. I want to go to the interloper. I want to go. I wish to check out the interloper. How fast are you moving? It's far, but I'm just going to go for it. Oh my god. I'm doing autopilot. Is this good? Wow. Wow. We are too close to the sun. I don't like that. Uh, I'm trying to go past it. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to be that close to it. The autopilot's a blessing. Well, yeah, just like kind of getting out there and immediately figuring out where you are. What is, what is that? Retro rockets. What is that? What the hell is that? Is it going to land me on the surface or is, am I going to crash? Oh, we're slowing down? Nice. Okay. We out here on the interloper. I want to find out what happened to Clary. Ooh. Clary's friends. Pie and poke. Ooh, very low gravity. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we out here on the interloper. Hell yeah. And this is ice. Oh, you could slide on it. Ooh, uh... Is it 
safe to go there. Is that safe? I, that, that, that doesn't feel safe. That doesn't feel safe. I don't know about that. Whimsical weenie. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This looks like a cookie. Yeah, it does. Uh, define safe. Well, I mean, like, will I get thrown off with the trail? That's how I feel. Said so they discovered a fissure in the ice. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Since all the chat ganged up on me, it made it seem like I was backstage and clipped that moment to prove otherwise. Okay, okay, okay. Put it in the Discord and we'll we'll put it up to the court of public opinion. Oh. <gasps> oh, it's melting as we get closer to the sun. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, so that means we have to be on here. Oh, there we go. We have to be on here when we're close to sun. Oh shit, we are fucking close. Ugh, I don't want to be there. That's ghost, ghost matter. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay, the ship can go. Oh. making sure it's safe to walk in. Hi, I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. <gasps> Am I gonna go down there and die to the same thing as them? Mm. Okay, no, no ghost shit here. Should probably looking, be looking for readings, right? Oh God, what is this? Is this okay? Readings, Esker. Scanning, scanning, scanning. That's far away. Quantum fluctuations. Oh, no, that was far. That was far. Yeah, that was the big old tower shard. Uh. No, nothing? Nothing then? Sort of missing the spot behind me. Okay. But ghost matter's there. Oh. I can't pass through it. <gasps> oh! Wait, I can launch. Can I? Oh, oh, it's like big versions of those crystals. It's going around a circle. It's heading back this way. Oh, it's getting sucked through, is it? No, it's not. What the fuck is that? Oh, did you see what I did? <laughs> Wait a minute. Ew, uh, what was that? What was that thing that looked like a, a little nub? I didn't like that. Alright, is there another way in there? Because over here, we, we can't do that. Over here, we're, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, we can't go that way. They must have died to ghost matter then, right? It's all slidey, so I don't want to go too fast or I'll just, like, end up in there. Oh, 
All right, let's try this one. Door number four. Oh, 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 I can't get out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I want to try that again. No. Oh my God. I was trying to, I was trying to back up so I wouldn't go so fast. Because I wasn't sure if that was a ghost matter or not. It looked just kind of blue to me and I was like, well, it is bright. <laughs> well, it is bright in there. <laughs> we'll try that again. <laughs> yeah, door number four gave me a swift death, a swift kick in the ass. Okay, okay, okay. Same thing. Interloper. Autopilot. Okay, so I'm gonna board autopilot real quick and I'm just gonna get us to not be heading into the sun. Skirt around it. Like that. And then turn it back on. Okay, 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 okay. It clearly wants you to fly into the sun. I, I fear that that is exactly what it's trying to do. Alright, we're aligning trajectories. We're doing it, we're doing it. Let me speed up. Okay. Nice. most efficient path is through it. <laughs> I'm a great pilot. I could just fly into the sun easy. So easy. I'll just go through it. Okay. Oh, thank you. What happens over here, though? Can I, like, go there? I keep feeling like the gravity will just not exist there. You know? That's, that's what I'm scared of every time. I am not trying to go away from you. I am trying to go towards you. Ooh, I'm pushing. I'm pushing the button. No, no, no. fine oh oh that's that we're sticking we're sticking stuck the landing <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh that's a beautiful park <gasps> it looks so cool in there look at it Ooh. I like the concept. I wanna... There's more shit on there, too. There's so much stuff! There's too much stuff! Funny how that did no damage. I haven't taken any ship damage, have I? Is it because I'm simply so good? Is it because I'm just so good at the game? Lucky, you, you gotta... Get a knot. He's sitting on the wire for my mouse. And he keeps like shifting occasionally and then it pulls the mouse around. And that's why you'll see my camera occasionally go like and start jittering. I'm gonna go on that thing. How do you get on that without dying to the sun? You know? Alright, um. Um. Goodbye, ship. See ya. Miss ya. How do I get in again? It was on the front of this, right? <laughs> I don't need a ship. I have that other thing. I'll go find it someday. Oh. Oh, 
it's fine. It's fine. Look at it. Wait, where, where was... Where the fuck was that crack? Is the ice thickening? Wait. No, it's not. Is it? Did it refreeze? Is the window that small? <gasps> oh. Oh. The window is that small, huh? All right, all right. Fine then. I'm going to take this interloper to... Wait, that's the white... The white hole, isn't it? Is it? What am I likely to come in contact with first? Giant's Deep? Yeah, all right. All right, ship. All right, we missed our window. Let's go. Let's do a... Oh. Let's go like... This, and let's do... You know what? I ain't never been to the Bramble before. Let's go to Dark Bramble. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I haven't been there at all. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it sounds like a nice place, exactly. It sounds like a lovely destination where no wrong could ever happen, right? <laughs> Nothing could happen here. Nothing bad. Clearly. Surely. Okay, so we got the whole bramble. We have all these little things we could land on on the outside. Hmm. I'm moving away from it. Let's move closer. It's moving away from me. I'm trying to figure out what direction it's going, but it's so hard. Ooh, it's got a a proper core. Uh, can I land on this like seed-like surface? ship like is it parked I can't. Ooh, it's hard to tell sometimes Ooh, this place is spooky <laughs> it's looking at me right <laughs> it's looking right at me uh the gravity is so low i want to be really careful jumping i think i don't want to into anything either. Okay, let me do... God, there's like no gravity. Okay. Yeah. Didn't I... Wait. There was someone who was here, right? Unknown 200 meters. Is 200 like dark bramble sized or is that... <laughs> is, 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 is that is that bramble sized, do you think? Maybe, I don't know. Can we leave? I don't like this place. No, 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 no. Are you scared? We have to go into the bramble. What game is this? Well, you see, if you do this thing where you scroll down, there's this cool thing where they put the name of the video game below. Oh, what the fuck is this? <gasps> I don't want to go in yet. I want to know what's in there first. No, 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 no. Come back. I'm going to launch it in. Okay, it like got past the fog a little bit. I think the fog is like a a, a wall. 
No, 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 no. Go in. Oh, there we go. Let's go in. I can see everything. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I can't see shit. The dark bramble. Actually, you know what? Let's jump and launch it in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's that bright center coming up on us, right? Cool pointy bits. We love, we love spikes. It's just getting brighter. Huh? Oh. <gasps> that thing is at the center. Is it going to eat it? Eat my camera. <gasps> oh, that's what's there. And do you think it's bigger on the inside? Like the other thing? Do you think it'll eat me? <gasps> Ooh. Hi, Nemo. Nemo, do you like fish? I found a really cool fish you might like. And then it should stick here, right? Oh, no, it's bouncing. I mean, do I go in? <laughs> I don't like this planet now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna do it and you can't stop me. Well, we know what that is, right? So we just don't go to that. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait, there's multiple of them. <laughs> there's multiple of them. I don't have enough fuel for this, man. Oh, there's no gravity in here. <gasps> yeah, there's a red one. Oh, fuck this place. <laughs> I'm hating this. Why are you doing this? Because it's funny. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen someone not take the ship in. Are you supposed to take the ship in? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm out here with my... I'm trying to not use too much fuel, so I'm kind of letting myself, like, bump around. I'm trying to be out here with my, uh... You know. My suit. Alright, let's get near that red thing. What's, what is that red thing? Oh. <gasps> Is that another seed? Oh my god. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> those eggs? Are those eggs? Those are eggs, aren't those? Those, those have to be eggs. Are those eggs? Ooh. I could turn it, right? It's gotta be eggs, right? <gasps> Ooh. Hi, Junie. Them's gotta be eggs. I don't have the fuel for this, though, because I made the mistake of coming in here without my ship, so, uh... I think we should wait until the death of the universe to come back in here with the ship. I don't think I can get out, but I'll try. Wait, let's just let's just slowly throw ourselves in this direction. I don't know if I can get back to the ship. Die of oxygen first? <laughs> you think I don't know that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 60 seconds. Go poke them. I mean, I'll go in with the ship. Oh my god, do you hear him breathing? <laughs> oh my god, give me give me out, please, fuel. Where's my ship? Oh my god, here we go. 
Oh, oh, it like launches you out a little bit. Oh, I love that. There's my ship. There's my ship. I don't know if I can get to in time. Okay, okay, okay. But like, I understand what the deal with Dark Bramble is now, right? Let me here. Let me, let me go over here. No, it's not that far because we can go like fast around. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Full level, fuel level critical. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. All is well. I do be choking out. I do be choking. Ah, I was so close! <gasps> no, I was full sending. I was full holding the stick toward it. Ah! No! <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> Man. I just wanted to get me some dark bramble. All right, all right, we'll, we'll get back to the ship. Do I try the interloper again, or do I go straight to Dark Bramble? Oh, he remembers how he died. Yeah. Ooh. We mean rip Bozo. He's not that Bozo, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. Thank you so much for the prime, Sarah. Thank you so much for the four months of prime. I appreciate it. Okay. Bramble? Let's not go back to that planet? <laughs> Why not? I don't get it. Uh, we could do... I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't remember. Um... It looked fun. <laughs> Yeah, hell planet. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's a line. It's a line. Oh, God damn it, hell. <laughs> damn it all. <laughs> it looks cool. Are you scared? Are you scared? Of the bramble. Oh, we're a little close to the sun. Uh, okay. Rebel may be the best bet at saving the universe. That's what I'm saying. See, our friend is in there. My friend's in there. Remember he was saying in the logs, he was like, oh man, I could hear something that sounds just like him in there. It's crazy. Just like his, uh, his thing, you know? And I was like, no way. You're so right, it does sound just like it. Ooh, let's go. Okay, let's go on the bramble butthole. Oh, wow. Okay, so the gravity pulling me in, like, immediately stopped right there. Do these things actually go after me, or are they just chilling? I assume they're not just chilling. They gotta be going after me, right? Okay, so each of those lights is a. Ah! What happened? Starboard thruster bank damage. <gasps> Guys, I gotta get out. Ooh, ooh. Or basically stopped. Okay. Oh, fuck. I hate that it just launches me like that. Okay, what, what, what the fuck is, uh, what, what, what's the problem here? What's the, what's the problem? Okay. Let me in. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? Don't eat me. Oh, it does eat you. They swim around. <laughs> he came up to me while I was repairing my ship. Don't eat me, Mr. Fishman. <laughs> you know what? I think now I'm gonna watch after I beat this game. I'm gonna watch like every stream of this game so I can watch people get eaten by the dark bramble fish. You got scared, but <laughs> oh, that place is perfect. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> Crazy for some medu cheered as one hundred. Didn't know this was a horror game. Aware. I, everyone was like, "What a beautiful, pretty game." I think it's funny to get eaten by the fish. 
I played most of this game but never finished because the Dark Ramble terrified me too much. Really? Stream it. It'll be so much easier. If you just stream it, then there are people around, you know? If you played alone, that shit is terrifying. Oh, oh, can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Can we, can we not? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing away. I'm pushing away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I even turned off the autopilot like way early for it or so I felt. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. All right. Whew. Jesus Christ. Where's the fucking bramble? Okay. Please, I don't want to go into the sun. I want to go to the fish hell planet. Because that sounds so fun and cool. Right? Okay, okay. We're gonna do it. Core, <gasps> core shadow, Dex 1000. Oh my god, thank you so much for the thousand bits! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just for you, just for you, I'm gonna go into the plant butthole again. I wasn't gonna do it. I've decided to do it just because you gave me a thousand bits. I totally wasn't gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so for fuck's sake. What are you scared of the are you scared of the booty hole? Okay, okay, we go in here. We pass the fog, and then it just we're just in. Okay. So they're kinda oh that one's so close. They're kind of just swimming around, right? So I don't want to get near them, but how the fuck do I do that? Wait, actually, they did say that this place is, is um, larger on the inside, right? So I can go around to the edges. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to stay close to the edge, but it was too close. Guys, my hull is damaged. If I just, if I just, if I just do that. Are they gonna come and get me over here? Oh, I did not wanna do that. If I tucked myself in the little entrance of the booty hole. Surely, surely they won't swim over to us, right? Surely they would not. Okay, okay. Oh, I keep feeling like they are. Is it this? Yes. I approach slowly. I keep not matching velocity. That's also like a thing I should really be doing, right? Is there anything else? They look far enough away. I feel like I hear it, like, sputtering. Or is that just me? That's just me. I think that's just me. Let's see. Beam me up. Starboard hull. Uh, I don't see. Oh, I thought it was that side. Oh, oh. No. No, I'm crazy. That bitch not, better not be swimming over to me. I swear to God. I need to keep matching velocity. I, I, I have a huge habit of not doing that. What is... What is broken? Oh, it's the thing that looks scratched up. It's the thing that looks scratched up. Starboard is right. Yeah, I know. But I looked at the ship and it didn't look broken. I was expecting um little sparks and stuff. That's why I thought that was the indicator for all of them. Okay. 
<laughs> Here we go. Should I just like full send to the red one? No, because then I'll probably hit something, right? Oh fuck, I gotta I gotta avoid the bramble. Okay, okay. Let's go this way. Nice, that one is feeling close on the left. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck this, dude. Okay, and then I should, it should like put me into the next instance, right? There we go. <gasps> Ooh. Dude, fuck this, fuck this. How do you, how do you even, how do you even? <laughs> if it's just, <laughs> it's there like right when you go in. <laughs> Do you have to pick the right entrance or something? Maybe, do you, full send it? No. Maybe, wait, maybe you do full send it. <gasps> hmm, yeah, it would be spoiler revealing. Yeah, don't tell me. <gasps> maybe, maybe it's cause I'm like, I'm just like, pss, 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 all right, let me explore some other areas. There must be more to find out. There must be more to find out about it, right? They always tell me things. Let's try, uh, let's try the interloper again. This time I totally won't miss, um, <laughs> the, the window of opportunity to get in there. Definitely not. Okay. Sun is on this side. Uh, interloper is here. It's going that way. Okay. Wait, is it? No, it's telling me my. Okay, okay. It's telling me how I'm moving in relation to it. <gasps> Look at that thing. The thing going around the sun, the thing. All right. <laughs> Maybe you missed a shotgun somewhere. God, if only they gave me a damn shotgun. I wish. I wish. Ooh, the bramble. No, we're going to the interloper this time. We are going to the good old interloper. I want to figure out what's up with the caves. How to gun work in space? Look, don't ask too many questions, okay? That's why we get laser beams or whatever. <laughs> Let's go, no bramble. You don't like the bramble? I'm gonna assume I need to find out more shit about it, right? Okay, let's go like this. Ooh, so spooky. This camera's so spooky. Look at how close the bramble looks like that. Honestly, one of the most beautiful landings you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Chat, you can never. Will my ship actually get sucked up into space for real this time? Do you think? Maybe. Alright, we still have a, a ways to go, so why don't I move my ship somewhere where it may not actually get sucked up? Why don't I move it? You know, just a little, uh... Just a little to the side, a little to the side. And we'll see if this works or if it's a total mistake. You know, see what happens. You're not letting your, your ship go to the big soup ball of the sky? You think it's soup? It looks soupy. It does, it does, yeah. You're right. It does look like soup. Alright, which, uh... Where was the said crevasse? Crevice that I, that I went into? I think it was here. Yeah. We had a crack saw. 
Oh, it opens like that. Okay, well, we are inside. I'm gonna put it in photo mode. And we're gonna keep going. Okay, so that was super scary side, yeah. Ooh, so scary, don't go in there, you'll die, ooh. Uh, but if we go here... This is where we were before. Okay, door number four, uh, we died. We did, in fact, die. Which one did I go through first? I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's do, uh, let's just go, let's go for left to right. This place is so cool. I really ah, like this. Oh. I passed through it. I passed through it. Okay. Okay. Let's go, let's go like painfully slow. It does feel like a colonoscopy, especially the, the pictures. Oh, this was the first, the first way I went, isn't it? So you go here and then you look and you're like, ah, oh, ghost, ghost matter. I can't go that way. I feel like I might be able to full send myself through that, but that's not smart. I don't think. Okay. That's the way I just went and had my soul practically sucked out of my body. This one's safe. Is this is this door three? Was this the No, this is two. This is two. Okay, so those two go to the larger cavern. This was the one I died in. Let's see if this is anything. Do it number three. Uh that was where I died, wasn't it? Can I? Oh, so, and, and this is the fourth one. Oh, so it's all ghost matter? No, I don't have the DLC. It's just the base game. So then, wait, what did this say again? Range recordings. So, oh, like how I just launched myself through. Should I launch myself through another one of these? I don't know if I have the health for it, though. And I don't know if I can get back up to the surface. I think I'm sealed in here, right? <laughs> I think I'm sealed in here. I can't, I can't, like, repair myself. Follow your dreams. Yeah, I think I start on this one and I go down like a, like a slide. All right. Full send, full send, full send, full send. Oh, it killed me! <gasps> that one killed me! But I landed somewhere. I landed somewhere. I think if I hadn't gone through that first one, I could have made it through that one. Maybe. The big one, when I go through one of the first two entranceways, <gasps> I think that's too thick. Like, I don't think I would survive that, but maybe that spot on the right, I would. I'm gonna try it again, but with full health, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it was thick. It was too thick. It's worth a shot. I'm going to go fast because of the space death. Where are you? Okay. I'll meet you on the right side. I'll meet you there. All right, I'm starting to get a really good sense of like what is where and when. In the beginning, what directions things are going. I kind of just remember that shit, which is nice. There we go. Okay, okay. Live fast, eat shit and die. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get ourselves on the interloper. We go into the crevasse. And then we try again to do, um, 
door number three and just and just send ourselves through that as fast as possible. I think that's the way. Is this the white hole? I think it is. I think it is. Look at how the light bends around it. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Hold on. We got to get to the interloper. Uh, let's... Ooh. Land a little more on the side. Just a little bit. Nice. Okay. Here we go. B minus landing. <laughs> um, I think that was one of the best landings you've ever seen in your life, buddy. Nice try. Hot soft stone cheered okay. X one hundred. Let me wait I in here. Google to figure out the mm. difference between this and the outer worlds. <laughs> it's not the same. It's very different. Very different. The interloper does look like a tooth. Yeah, it has like the little little roots sticking off. One of the two games is good. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Outer Worlds is kind of not the best. Not the best, we'll say. I, it does not have my shining review. It does not. Outer Worlds is okay. Mm. It's like, it's like, uh, Outer Wilds? Wow. Outer Worlds? Uh, no. We made New Vegas, though. <sighs> Nothing's worse than a studio being like, I made that one game, therefore, uh, even though I've had several bad games under my belt afterward, uh, you have to like my games. You know what I mean? It's about the history of your work, not like that one thing you did. Look at it getting sucked. Okay, okay. Here we go. Into the deep. Under the sea. Wait a minute. Eh. Okay. We're doing the usual, and then we're right here, and then we're gonna go like this, and... Oh! Huh? Oh! Huh? What was that? <laughs> wait, wait, how do, wait, what? What? Broke your neck, but I was, I did like a, a small jump. You hit your head? I don't think that should have happened. Yeah, the, I think the physics broke. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna go back here again. Oh! An inertia mechanic? Is it because I didn't... Okay. Is it because I didn't land on my feet first before starting to move again? So it thought I was, like, going mega fast. Or I was tackled by a pro wrestler? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we have... We have time. If we're doing the interloper again. Is there anything else here that I want to check? This is the bramble, right? Yeah, that was the Bramble Crater. Uh, we went into those caves. Is there anything else in particular I wanted to see? Yum. I did go into this one. This is the big one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else I do want to explore in here. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, this way, this way, this way. We gotta get away from it. Oh, there we go. Now, the interloper. Where is it? 
Oh, I'm on this side. Oh, okay, right, right. Let's go. Let's go toward it. That one guy mistook you for bear and tried to pile drive you. I think I was just too scary. I was too strong. You know? At least you can't lose progress. I mean, I mean, yeah, no, it sends you back and you're like, oh, I have to do, you know, spend time doing a thing again. But, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't like punish you super hard, which is nice. I keep feeling like it's going to send me close to the sun, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, man. Did you guys miss the bramble? You know where we could go? We could, we could, uh... There's this really cool place called the Dark Bramble. That we could go to? That I think you guys would, would really like. I think... I think you guys would love it. No? <laughs> you don't... Why don't you like the bramble? Why don't you like the bramble, guys? I don't get it. You don't like the fish? You don't like it? Feed the fish? We already did a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've been eaten way too good for my liking. Way too good. Oh, that's the bottom. We don't need to go. We want to go up top. All right, I will be careful of inertia. I'll be very careful. Not the butthole again. There must be something. My my guess is that I'm like moving around. Don't don't tell me if this is true. My guess is that I'm doing something to attract them. With the way I was moving around, either like because I just kept pumping, like making a lot of noise. I kept pumping the uh, what's the word? The thrusters and shit. That's my that's my guess. And don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. But uh, I think I need to do something different there. So I will see what I need to do as far as um, like progressing and finding more information and reading about it and stuff. The lore. I'm gonna let the sun be gone. Okay. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing gonna pull me into its orbit? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna full send it and I'm gonna go through this and we'll see if it kills me. So I'm going through that one. Ready? Okay. It harmed me somewhat. Huh? <gasps> Wait, that sends us back? <gasps> oh my god, I do have to go this way then? Oh Jesus Christ, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It shows the it shows the marker for the ship on the picture. <laughs> I take the picture. Oh yeah, that side had it. All right, so door number two, we get through here, and we're here, and then there's that that pit is filled filled with the with the fucking with the ghost matter. <gasps> Wait. Oh oh, oh 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 oh. Let me land. Let me land. Oh oh my fuel. Okay. <laughs> my thrust. <laughs> There's like no gravity. So maybe I go up. Right? If I can't go down, maybe maybe I go I go up there. You see that? That opening? <sighs> this feels like something. This feels like something. Okay. Is this just a little loop? This is a tiny loop. Okay, okay, okay. We're in we're in the little upper area now. That looks like what just blue ice. Oh no, what do you mean ghost matter nearby? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm 
I'm trying to... No, I don't want to full send it. I'm, oh, 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 on the left? <gasps> I'm trying to... I'm trying to gather information. Oh, this place is so nightmarish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Trying to go slowly through. Oh. What the hell is this? I want to go through there. Not, not through that. Oh, oh, I clipped through the wall. I can't see shit. Oh my god, where am I? Oh, I'm gonna get sucked in and die, aren't I? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh, wait. Where did I go? Where am I now? Did I go up? Do I want to be here? Is this where I came from? I can't tell. <laughs> where am I? Okay. Wait did, wait, did I come from there? Or did I come from here? <laughs> oh. I, like, lost my sense of where, where, I, where the fuck I am. Oh! <gasps> oh, that's them in their little space suit. <gasps> that's one of them. Take bets is that poker pie. There's another one. Oh my god, my fuel usage. All right, let's go. <gasps> oh my god, they're right there. <gasps> Ooh. All right, let's put this away for a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. Recording. Wait, I don't want to be moving. I want it to pause when I read this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, they're dead. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. Oh, you don't say. Let's touch it. I never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. This is where the ghost energy came from, then. Like, it, it crashed, it cracked and that came out, right? Yeah. Hi. Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? Okay. It's all about the knowledge, man. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure still building as the comet approaches the star system. <gasps> Return to the shuttle right now. Oh, they never got to. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. <laughs> Damn, that would suck. Wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Pi? <gasps> oh, Pi, it was approaching it. This one's Pi. The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. <gasps> Okay, so Pi sent Poke out. Poke did and died up there. Uh. Oh, ooh, it's like tendrils. I think it's safe to touch. Maybe not. Oh, it's a funny casing. Well, I think I just die in here, right? Like, what could I do in here? <laughs> ooh. There must be something else for me to find while I'm in here, but I don't know what. Hmm. I can only really go back through there. Yeah, so I read his log. Uh, the other guy had no logs, right? 
<laughs> no logs? No logs? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Uh, I can't go through any little circular holes. Where was that again? Yeah, this is where I went. Eh. I love clipping. Alright, alright. Yeah, I'm stuck in here. I get, I get to die with them. Very cool. Okay, they didn't have anything on them. Oh, the shards are like in them. So I think, I think the... That thing exploded. The ghost matter killed them, but also he got embedded with, with this shit. <laughs> Completely embedded with it. And then that's it. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like I'm I'm going through their same uh, journey here. <laughs> same thing. Ooh, it's like a toilet bowl. I don't want to go in there. I want to go here. Ooh, so no matter if you go forward or backward, you still have to slide through this, which is kind of it's kind of cool. We go left. It's like nostrils. It's like I'm in the sinuses. Very fun. Very cool. I didn't pay attention much to the story during my playthrough. I understood the themes was more interested in self-discovery. Self-discovery. Is this the sound of the world ending? Oh, you go near the sun again. Oh, well, now I'm definitely not getting out. <laughs> now I'm definitely not going back. There is no way. I wonder if you could like survive a a little uh you know a little jump through there. I wonder if there's a way you just kind of will send it. Oh well, I'm choking anyway. So instead of listening to myself choke, let's uh. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> ah, there we go. I think you have more imminent problems than the sun. Well, obviously. No, I was complaining because, because I didn't realize that uh, within the amount of time we would pass by the sun again and then you could actually potentially get out if you didn't take enough damage on the way in. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a huge bomb and a comet. It's cool. It's cool. <gasps> Yeah, so I guess I guess that was what killed the Nomai, right? I want to go back to the um the museum thingy and see if there's anything else in here. Anything with that statue? If it if it looks at me again, you know, that kind of stuff. I want I want to look back at it. What do you call the mission to save Pi? Pi 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 in the sky? <laughs> I don't know. Is this a, is this an incoming joke? Oh, I don't have my suit. Oh my god. I don't have my suit on. I just tried to use my, my, you know. Oh, Pi, that sucks. You just wanted to say the word for boobs. Let me be honest with you. You didn't want to tell me a joke. You didn't want to create a joke. You're like, how can I say boobs in the chat and not get banned? <laughs> What's the best excuse to say that word? What's the best one? <laughs> Boobs knotters. Mm -hmm. God's got a point. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> you tried. You tried. Yeah, only except if you type it like that with the eights and shit. All right, does it open its eyes at me this time? Oh, they're talking around it. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Okay, this is different. But you'd wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <sighs> Me too. <gasps> okay. So in between runs, in between me getting transported back, the eyes stayed open. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Uh, okay. Kurt is on Hourglass Twins. I saw Rybeck. Rybe I didn't see Kurt or... Gabbro yet. Feld, Feldspar is gone, and I suspect Feldspar is on the eggs. 
Uh, Felspar was one of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gosden Slate, the engineer, and me. As ground control and later mu the museum curator, it, I didn't work with Felspar as closely as Slate and Gosden did. I can tell you Felspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Okay. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder, wonder Felspar lived to see space, five. frankly, but they did. Yeah. Quispy! Jingling. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back, Quispy. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Mm-hmm. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's KW Spy to you, true. KW Spy, thank you so much. <laughs> it's been a long time since they left. I think, oh, I hit B, but you have to, you have to do that. I think they're in a fish. I think they're in a fish. All right, the statue's eyes are open. They used to be closed, now they're opened. Not sure why, but it's huge news. Still Gabra or Rybeck? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and they got a small one of these. We, uh... We unfortunately know a lot of these now. It executes we know a lot about three. these. Hell yeah. Do we though actually? My favorite game of all time, Pog. <sighs> I was trying to catch it. I was trying to catch the funny rock. I was trying to catch it. What, what do the space fish breathe? Uh... <laughs> you asking too many questions, I think. Far too many questions. Do not enter the space fish. I don't want to. But sometimes things happen. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Sometimes you just gotta go in and swim with the space fish, okay? <laughs> you gotta do it. Uh, you know the ship is Death Trap, right? Okay. You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise, I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect you, won't you dumb idiot? Did you think I made- Okay, alright, buddy. Okay, okay. Alright. You got an attitude. Sun's going to supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I gloss over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfeld's domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. So true. So true. You're so right. I want to go to the... 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 Planet with the water and find Gabro. We were only there once when we accidentally landed there, right? I think it'd be nice to go there. Or the little twin planets. What's closer? Hourglass twins are closer. All right, let's go to Giant's Deep, you know? Oh! Fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's all good. All right, it's heading, uh, is it, is it heading leftish? Okay. Here we go. I love that you can see the storms on it from afar. That shit's great. What's around it? Ooh. Is that that dude's flute? Ooh, orbits, how do they work? Who oh, no, knows? It's crazy. Should I, should I try landing on this thing? Or getting up to that? I don't know if I can even land on that, to be honest. Just wait until nighttime, then you should be able to land on the sun. Oh my god, you're so right. You're so right. Let's abort autopilot. Whoops. Huh. My bad. Wow, what a fun place. 
What a real fun, uh, lovely planet. Okay, this is where I was before, right? Okay. 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 Ugh. Perfect. Perfect landing. Let's let's straighten out. Beautiful. All right. Uh oh. I guess we're not reading that. <laughs> Yeah, it does kind of remind me of Ohio. A little bit. All right, Gabbro should be here, right? Ooh, it's so small, the watery core. <gasps> Tornado? Torrendo? <gasps> oh, it's one of those circles that can send you somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to test the memory statuses to statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? <gasps> Flock specifically told us not to do that. <laughs> I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flock's will let us see a later test. I don't know who you are, but I approve of your, your choices here. Oh, the gravity's really high here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm heavy as shit. Two times gravity. Wow. Okay. Is this the one I went in? Oh, yeah, this is where I went in. Okay. Guys, the Tarandos. They're so scary. The Tarandos. This place was so annoying because the gravity. Yeah, I'm so used to just kind of jumping over. Oh. Oh, that one's floating. Okay, 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 and then... Uh, three. Okay. <gasps> Rocker, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I didn't need to jump. That's fine, that's fine. That's okay over here. Oh. Who's this? Statue workshop. Uh, I don't think I can get in there right now. Also move, right? They're just where they are. Or is this one moving? That one looks like it's moving toward us. Can I, can I? <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Oh my God. Wait, 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 my thrusters, my thrusters. Oh, that's so fucking cool. And then we go back in. Oh. Oh my God, it tosses us up. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh shit, not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> okay, well. <sighs> I guess I'll just stay on this so I don't, um, you know, fly off of the planet. Okay, okay, and then it plunges us under, and then we're here. How often does that happen? Is this a, uh, a uh, regular occurrence here? What is the point of that? Is it just to hold me down here? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess this happens all the time, huh? Ooh. Oh, it's scary. Ugh. Oh, it's probably so annoying to get there with... Oh, okay, okay. Can I, can I ever get into this? It looks like there's a rock wall behind it. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. 
in Ohio every day. <laughs> I don't doubt it. It's just a regular occurrence. It's just how we get from place to place in Ohio. All right, let me at least get back up here to the trees. <gasps> Wait. What if I'm on one of these when a tornado shows up? Right? Does, does, does... Hmm. Yeah, my ship did get picked up and, and moved around a little bit. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. It, it fucking moved so far. Uh, I really should check up on that other spot, too. Uh, okay. Oops. Oh. Um, there's a little there's a little crack on it. Got a little boo boo. Okay. Perhaps in transit. Don't say come on, tornado. Oh, what the fuck? What? What? What is? Ooh, ooh, ooh! What is happening? I didn't press the right stick at all. <laughs> uh, is it the tree? Am I stuck on something? You like those frames? Yeah, they're beautiful. I think I was stuck on something. Hold on, I'm trying to like get unstuck. Oh, it is, I think it's the tree. Oh my God, I'm stuck on the tree. <laughs> there we go, there we go, okay. Okay, okay. All my frames. Okay. Let's go to the next little island thingy here. This looks totally safe and fun and cool. Right? Can I can I land it on one of these tiny platforms? Oh, I think I can. I'm gonna do it. No, wait, then how am I gonna get over there? It's gonna be really annoying. Hold on, hold on. Ah, I'm not even pressing the stick. <laughs> it's just hitting everything. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Gee, maybe it would be cool to land on this. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Whew. Not a bit of damage to that ship. That'll probably hold the ship down so it doesn't float away, right? Maybe. Perhaps. We'll see. <laughs> Nailed it. So good. So good. I know. So good. A scroll. Let's read this. Let's see what we got. Ooh. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit across uh, around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Prevet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I've given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Oh, famous last words. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. <gasps> If I'm ever half as gooey as Mello and Avon's behave together, Des, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. So funny, these characters. Hee hee hoo hoo. They're so quirky. If I know my brother, Avon's and his spouse, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. Well, I mean... It looks intact. I propose we give Avens and Mello a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Oh, they're trying to go crazy. Oh! You think that's them? 
Is this the cannon though? I don't, I don't This isn't right. <gasps> oh, it's the thing outside. Okay. 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 I think this is the thing outside that we had seen, or outside of the planet, I mean, you know, out in the orbit. There may be one orbiting the sun. It's got the little, it's got the little swinkle there. Okay, let's go here. Let's see what's good. <gasps> Ooh, they're gonna show us something. They're gonna show us something cool, maybe? Control module projection stone. I like the stones. Yeah, it does look like a t-shirt cannon, kind of. It just, <laughs> it just launches like a ball. That's what it looks like, at least. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Oh. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I get it, locomotive limb. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they could fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. <gasps> Tell Prevet and Marrow they should return Mallow. They should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Prevet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Okay, okay. So there's a little drama. There's a little drama with this cannon. Not being able to be... Oh. 14 minutes, 14 seconds ago. Long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Uh, did they... Uh, did they... Drama! Did they launch something anyway, even though they weren't supposed to? Ooh, drama! Okay, what does this show me? Where will it take me? my frames oh well that's that's the cannon isn't it where is this though wait i feel like i've seen that large no maybe maybe not and you can probably move a ball through this to control stuff oh oh This one got sent into space, so the, the gravity applied. <gasps> oh my god, wait, these do something now. Oh, you do, you get in here to be safe from it. <gasps> ah, okay, I've just been going in them anyway at any other time. <laughs> oh god, the water. Ooh, okay, we've seen these symbols before for one, two, and three, but on the other thing. I think that's the thing that ended up... ...near the sun? Ooh. Sometimes the frames struggle a little with all the water. I go underneath. Is there anything under here? That's a big jelly. Hmm. Go up this way. Actually, oh, this doesn't take us anywhere new, right? That was the whole. It was just everything on that side. Yeah, that was everything on that side. Okay, alright. So on this side. Ugh! My legs! Something over here. What is this? What are these? Okay, but this. This, I can take you at Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Oh! Okay, let's take this over. Oh. Oh. If I jumped, the current took me the other way. <gasps> ooh, ooh, that was scary. That was scary. Uh, streamer, could you check that console with the time on it again? Huh? Console with the time on it? What do you mean? I don't- I don't know what you're talking about. I might, might have missed something. 
Let's take this. You meant this one? <gasps> oh! Oh, no, no, no. This does have the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. So this is in real time. This is not, uh... Uh... This is not stopped in time, like I thought at first. So that is the thing that I see fire out as soon as the... As soon as I wake up. And I'm snapped back to, you know, the beginning. I believe the orbital cannon sent something out. Orbital probe cannon. Because we've seen it before. Um, okay. Brittle hollow projection stone. Ooh. Part of the part of Brittle Hollows. This this is that dome. This is what's underneath. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. We have learned some interesting, cool shit here. Some information, you could say. Yeah, no, this is the first stream of it. I don't know, am I moving fast through it, or is this, like, all normal? Am I extrapolating quickly? Am I guessing things too fast? I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad, because genuinely sometimes, like, I guess the plots of games really quick. A lot of the time in the first, like, five minutes of a game, I'll be like, well, this is probably what it's all about, or, it's, you know? <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm usually right, and by saying it out loud, sometimes I, I ruin it for some people in chat. <laughs> like, like, no joke, there are times where I start playing game, and I'm like, I bet the meaning of the story is this within the first minute, and then I'm right, and someone at the end will be like, I can't believe you called it, that kind of ruined it, and I'm like, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so how much time do I have? Don't tell me. Uh, so should I try to find another? There, there have to be more little islands on here, right? Surely there are more islands to, to discover. Maybe. There was this one. There was that other one that got launched. Is there a third? There's that one with Bramble on it. I don't know if that's attached to the other one. <gasps> this is what I was looking for. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Bramble area. Boom! Oh. <laughs> um. Um, we're fine. <laughs> We're fine. It's all, it's all good. It's all cool. It's all cool. Oh, that got swept away. Okay, so they're not attached. It's all good. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You have all the time in the world. Well, yeah, that's what this one's all about, right? <gasps> found Gabbro. Found Gabbro. You'd be much better picking up on subtler details and keeping track of what you're unraveling compared to other people I've seen play. I guess so. Like, I feel like it all... Not obviously fits together, but you, you can extrapolate pretty easily, right? You can. Nice, it's you! Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Wait, this is the first person I've met that's in a time loop as well. What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? Uh, no, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Oh, thank God. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. Um, you're taking this pretty well. Right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell the time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even I tell Hornfell about the 
time loop. They never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone on my statue I found on one of the other islands. <gasps> I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. <gasps> Oh my god, same! That happened to me with the statue at the museum! <laughs> wow! Besties! You too, huh? <laughs> twinsies! Twinsies! <laughs> then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness? I think that's gonna be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that's what's new with me. Yeah, anyway. But hey, this is your first solo voyage. Kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? Oh, true. Let's talk about me. How's space treating you? Okay, uh, I found something. Actually, never mind. Cool. I'll find things on this planet, I guess. What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing out here, really? Oh my god, so true, Gabro. So true. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. But peaceful? All right. Yeah, bro, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're on a chunk of rock on a watery planet that repeatedly gets launched into space by a water spout. Quiet and peaceful. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Okay, fair. Alright. Where should I explore? Here's something you might like. <gasps> oh, at the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing of my statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabro relaxation scale. Oh, so true. If you like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Alright. Statue Island. What's up with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant like tell you more about it? <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? I gotcha. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss everything up, they'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Oh. Cool. Where's your ship? That's a good question. <laughs> it's definitely on this planet. Somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed into space, I guess. <laughs> that would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Cool. All right, my frames suffer for a second. Uh, no other close by signals though, right? Any quantum fluctuations nearby? None. Well, that one's on its way to us. So, uh, I mean, if I just stay here, I'll be okay with Gabro, right? <laughs> Surely nothing crazy would happen. Surely not. Oh yeah, just a little floating. Just a little floating. My ship is, uh... Also floating. Should be fine. Should be fine. It's all cool. It's all cool. There we go. Nice. There we go. Um... Oh, yeah. 
So, okay, so I know the universe is gonna die, but, uh, hold on. Ghost matter. What's on the other side of the ghost matter, huh? Alright, well, things, things will die, but, you know. He was floating? Yeah, but he likes that. I, I, I think he enjoys it, you know? I would wager that he loves that. Oh, it just leads out to here. Okay, I mean, Gabbro, you have yourself a nice little, uh, a nice little island over here. Oh, there we go. It's gone dark. What if I just, like... There's no time. There's no time. It's the death of the universe, guys. Wee. Wee. Oh, let's look at it. Woo! <laughs> we can outrun it. <laughs> if you just look at it and you go, and you blow at it, you know, maybe you can like send it back a little. Maybe we can like slow it down a little bit. At it, right? Yeah, punch it and just. <laughs> You're like getting flashbang. You look at it and you go, be gone, be gone, and it'll surely go away. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so now we know we that are, the orbital up, cannon. Hell yeah, Jigawiga. There it is. That's me. Okay, so the orbital cannon set something out. Sent something out. How fast can I get the thing that it shot out? There was the orbital cannon. It shot that out. Whatever that is. Can I get to it? That shit is going too fast. All right. Let's see. Where's it going? Oh. Huh? What is this thing? What is it? It is schmoovin. Am I moving toward it? I think I am. It's so hard to tell. Okay, I am, I am, I am. I'm moving too fast, in fact. What the hell is that? No, I want to move back toward you. Hold on, hold on. Gotta, can I, can I like match, match velocity? There we go. <laughs> Did that work? Where'd it go? There we go. What the hell is that? Oh, I have to manually get to it too. All right, I think it's heading that direction. Can I match your velocity? Real quick. Wait, why am I- why- why- why'd the autopilot go on? I didn't press the button. <laughs> no! <laughs> why did it do that? I didn't press the button. Alright, hold on. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm trying- I'm trying to- I keep trying to match velocity. Please let me select, please. <gasps> it has the eye on it. I can't tell, is it pointed at the sun? Or it looks like it's turning. Are you blowing up the sun? Is it you? Oh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to it. Was it you that blew up the sun? Silly little thing. Okay. Cool. Let's just, uh, smash our legs on it. Um. Um. Ooh. All right, let me try to go, like, in it. Try to go in it. Can I go in? Does this hurt? Ah. It's solid. What is it? Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, so, so this thing gets launched, right? This thing gets launched out. It goes over here ish. And then it just stops. It's just suspended. And it's very far out. It's just heading out. I'm gonna keep my velocity matched with it. I think. And then just watch it. Right? It's just it's just going super far away from from the solar system. Oh my god, yeah, it's just going. It's just going. Is it maybe like a beacon or thing that they wanted to send back to wherever they came from? It's just going. Let's just look at it then. <laughs> Take me to your leaders, little guy. I know. It wasn't scannable. Uh, there was there was nothing. There's nothing on it that I could scan. No, nothing. And when I looked at it, it doesn't say anything about it to me. I could launch the scout at it. Wow! Look, that's us. That's us in the picture. Smile. It just it just has a picture of the eye on it, and then it gets launched from the orbital uh, cannon thingy. Hi, I me. Can you install memes on it? You think it's got games on it? Maybe there's games on it. I'll see what happens if I just keep following this thing, and then the inevitable death of the galaxy. I should say the galaxy, not the universe. It's uh, the, the sun exploding, right? I should see what happens, because I wonder if... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I get an achievement. <laughs> Maybe I just get an achievement or something. But I'm really curious. Oh, I can free look. Oh. I'm rotating the camera. Ooh. All right, check this out. I'm going to send the scout into the sun. No, 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 no. You, you missed, you missed. It doesn't go where I aim. It doesn't go where I aim at all. It doesn't go where I aim. Oh my God. Me too, I've never seen this. Wait, you never, you never tried to... You never, you never tried to follow it? Because you're moving? Don't say things that make sense. Excuse me? Excuse me? Didn't the game say that this is the last non-exploded star? No, I don't think so. It was just saying that they were all heading toward it. Like, uh, you can see some that were exploded in particular. Like, um, that one looks like... I'm going to put my cursor right on it. This one right above my cursor. Oh, you can't see it anymore. <laughs> we went too far away. 
Let me find an example. These, these, these white and blue looking ones are like this one right here. Or this thing right here, right? Don't some of them look specifically like they're, um, exploded versus others? Try using the signal scope. True. Nope. 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 Anything that we can hear is just this. Oh, you can hear all their music together. Right? Because they're, uh... They're aligned enough. Now, don't answer me if you know. Don't answer me if you know. But my guess is this whole game is about this. It's about this ship. They're like, oh my god, they're on separate planets, but they're all together. They're all playing the same song. It's that idea of like, I looked up at the moon and I imagined her looking at the same moon, even though we were on different parts of the earth. Because we all look at the same moon. All right, that sort of thing. <laughs> Answer for Ben. <laughs> And I will just state right now, before we get to the end of the game or anything like that, I am not a sentimental person. <laughs> oh. So if people told me that the ending of the game was incredible and emotional, I'm so sorry. Do you remember the ending of Stray when I played this the, the laugh track? <laughs> oh. If you want to, if you're like, oh man, I can't wait for her to get to the end, she's gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, we don't really, we don't really do that here. Hit him with these. <laughs> they think they can hear each other. <laughs> They're on different planes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, I'm tired of that. That shit's loud. I like how they are separated, but can still remember their sick track. Anyone who learns a song could remember the song. The whole, the cool part is that they're like playing it together, right? How far are we now? <gasps> I can't even, oh, there we go, pan view. Oh, we are far. Oh, we are so far. What's this huge orbit that's out here though? This vertical orbit. There's got to be something there. Is it something I could... Oh, here it is. <gasps> Red. Oh, I want to know what that is. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Sentiment can't fuel my rocket ship. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At least we can see how the end looks like from far away. Yeah! Mm-hmm. That's what I really want to see. I, I just want to see the, um, the thing. I mean, the sun's getting very red now, so. We're getting close. I just want to see if this thing does anything. You know, I don't mind waiting. That's fine. You can sit around and talk. What was that thing you're following again? Uh, the orbital whatever cannon. I can't remember the third the the word in the middle. Orbital something cannon launches this. The one that's outside of the water planet. It launches this because I got in the ship immediately and followed it. And then um, yeah, the orbital t-shirt cannon. The orbital t-shirt cannon. This is the proverbial t-shirt. And so I'm following it because I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, turns out it's not a t-shirt. It does have the symbol for the eye of the universe on it. And that's all I know. 
So I guess the... The time loop... Has something to do with this? Like, it's always... We're always returned to the moment that this is launched, right? So it has some... Significance. Let me move here so we can see the, um... There we go. So we can see the universal... Universe the galaxy a little better. Just like that. Just like that. I think it's a camera and then no I want to record the sun exploding. That shit would be cool. What if they thought they were going to be around for this? What if they'd been gone, you know, for a super long time? They thought they might be around for the sun event? So they set this to launch a bit before it should happen so they could record it. Thing is, they're dead so they don't actually get to watch it, right? <laughs> is there scout seeing? Um, this is the forward camera. Okay, and this is the back camera. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mm. Very cool. This is what NASA space images are like. Might have overshot it a bit. <laughs> no. No way. See? We didn't overshoot it. It is, it is nowhere near <laughs> our dying sun. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't made it close yet. It's still going. <laughs> I should have shot it out earlier. I should shoot it into the sun, though. I should. Right? Scout just want to go back. Yeah, he's going. He's on his way. See, the number's increasing. Space big. Space is scary. You're on a rock right now in the middle of all this. All this nothingness, in fact. Didn't you know? Think we'll avoid the supernova? Oh, clearly we have outrun it. Oops, there goes another star. I can't tell if I'm just like, quote unquote, getting far from them or if some of these are actually going away. I can't tell. Occasionally there is one in the background that like, maybe they're just tiny. They're going away, I've been watching them all go out. Yeah, like I do see fewer stars in the sky, right? Here, let me uh... Let me just retrieve the scout so, so the thing is gone. Because his scout's not getting over there anytime soon. Let's just do this so we can watch it. Surprised by the render distance? Yeah. Ooh, you see that yellow we one up there that exploded? Oh my god, they're all exploding! Look at the one on the left, all the way on the left, above the little monitor. <gasps> That's a cool detail. They're all, uh, they're all dying. Oh, shit. <gasps> okay, now the one above it? I can't use my cursor, I can't show it. And on the left? Oh, it's more rapid, and ours is getting really red, so ours is gonna go soon. <gasps> all the stars are dying. Mm. That's so interesting. I can't tell if there are fewer stars or if they're replacing them. They're just having more of them explode. <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> Any quantum fluctuations? Nothing. Except for all that, you know, over there. <laughs> Nothing near us. Nothing near us. I'm not an astronomer, but that's bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. Ooh. 
going to be stars for anyway. I mean, if all the other ones went out, I assume they would be so far that uh, it would be fine, right? They'd be so far that it would not be likely to affect us. But don't they explode and send out a bunch of shit? Like, first they implode, right? They become super dense. And they absorb everything around them. They suck in everything around them. No, wait, they become black holes, don't they? So they wouldn't, they wouldn't send anything out, I would think. Some of them could send stuff out. I think, I think the stuff on the edge would get sent outward, right? And, uh, yeah, not all of them do. So I guess depending on what happens, some of them, it wouldn't be a problem. But if they explode, rather than just implode, right? If they properly explode, then they could send shit out. Yeah, gamma rays, physical space dust going at a bajillion, how you know, however many miles per hour that will kill you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty neato. So, yeah, if all the other stars started dying, uh, I think you should be worried. <laughs> oh, there are definitely fewer, yeah. Oh, I'm looking at the number. That's so cool. Let's talk about black holes, little brother, white dwarfs, little white dwarfs. No, they're, they're, it's, it's, it's neat. That one's turning yellow. Yeah, are you seeing them, like, change color, some of them? I've just been kind of sitting here, like, taking note of which ones explode. Right? Red dwarfs and white dwarfs gotta come from somewhere. Well, we'll, yeah, exactly. We'd be wiped out any time if we got hit by radiation from a star. Yeah. And that's why when someone is sitting there on Twitter, and they're, like, replying to someone about anything that, that no one should care about. I'm like, <laughs> come on, man, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can't you just think about, like, the, the infinite heat death of the universe or something? <laughs> and then these bitches are on Twitter and they're like, um, I thought his shirt represented something terrible. Therefore, I'm canceling him. I didn't like his t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Come on, ma'am. Will you hear the instruments go out one by one once the sun blows up? <gasps> Great question. Great question. Let's see if the... If the... Music... From these people continues or if they get swallowed up first. Yeah, I want to hear them die. Let's listen to them die. Ew. Ew. Nice, nice. Do you feel the dread? Do you feel the dread? Drums is on the twins. Yeah, drums should be first to go, right? Getting awful dark, not many stars left in the sky. That sun's looking very red. Drums then whistling. Mm -hmm. Our God Emperor will protect us from the exploding stars. Uh, okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. <gasps> there it goes. There it goes. Oh, oh I can still hear them. Oh, they're playing in the afterlife. How nice. Ah. <laughs> the people in chat going, they're alive, Pog. <laughs> Look, it's silent. It's quite... Oh. Oh my god, wait, I didn't die to it. They, they, they yoinked me. <laughs> Look at my memories playing back. <laughs> Yo, that shit's spinning fast as fuck. <gasps> oh. Wow, they even showed me checking the map. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to live. <gasps> wow. Okay, well now we fully know what goes on with that. So that thing, when it blasts the thingy out... Oh? 
Wait, did it do it? Did you see something shoot out or not? Oh. Wait, did something did something come out of it? Or I can't tell if I'm blind and I didn't see it or if nothing came out. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. I am checking clips. Please do, I must know. I must know. It was it was it was here, right? It was it was around this guy. Can I select it? Yeah. You saw something go the other way? Did you? Alright, here. Let me just have myself get sent toward it. I feel like it blasted straight into the planet. It didn't get shot off into the distance, though, like I'm used to. That's the thing where I'm like, hold. Oh. Yeah, I think it doesn't work every time, so maybe that's why when, when you look up, uh, you can analyze, like, do you want to go here and check that out, or, or what? So either it blasted into the planet, or... Yeah, it's broken apart, which I think we saw before. Can I? Can I select that? I can't. All right. Um, I'm gonna wait for you to come back around, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, look! It's sending one up. Look. <laughs> Island just chilling, just chilling, having a great time. Look at it. Yo. All right. All right, buddy, what's your deal? What's your deal? Match velocity? Can I match its velocity? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wait for it to come back around. No, I don't want to go in the planet. No. No. Okay. It's traveling, it's traveling. Come to me. Jesus Christ, I can't see shit. Okay, I'm matching its velocity. <gasps> yes. <gasps> There's a thing on the bottom. Oh, okay. Let me go around you. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, we're on it. Is the cannon? Oh Jesus Christ! Do I go in there? <laughs> do, do I go in? Uh, I'm gonna guess I do. Yeah, oh yeah, there's no, there's no gravity, okay. Oh, it's one of these again. Okay, it's the same sort of thing I saw before. We saw one of these earlier. This time this one's just free floating and, and, and super broken. Oh God, what's happening here? Uh, can I read these? I think I can read these. Okay, okay. Velocity matched. Three. Probe tracking module. Probe tracking module. <laughs> Just a wee bit damaged. Control module. Oh, I can't wait to learn how to use the whole thing and it totally works because it's not broken at all. Launch module. I mean... I mean... Let's look around. 
Okay, okay. Not much not much to see there. Can I do anything in any of these? Ooh. This one just has debris floating, it looks like. Oh yeah, it's all broken. Ooh. Alright, and did I is this the one I no, that's the one I sent it through, so it's this one that's the last one? <gasps> oh not broken? Which module was this? Was this control? Or is this just letting me back out? What are you? This is the same shape as before. Is this letting me outside? No, that was on the other side. I think it's the control module, right? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Trees detected. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <gasps> Ooh, the music. I can get to that side somehow. Okay. This sends me there. That's so cool. All right, we, we were sent to this from another one. So let me do this. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Oh, is this how I can find information on the Hell Beasts? Oh man, okay. Oh wait, this is the same writing as before, right? Because I used the same stone. Is it? Yara said there was a problem with the proposed power source of the orbital probe cannon will be asked to fire. <gasps> yeah, we read this one before. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. We read that one because I think because we used, uh, it was like the same wall that had that on it, right? And then I have this one, launch module. Oh, this is new, okay. Launch module projection stone. Let's see if this is new. This is. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. <gasps> ah! Kasaba tells me he and, he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. That's what they were talking about on the other one. I see. And am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? <gasps> uh, this is what I thought. Okay. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. <laughs> Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Well, this is why it blew up, because they did that, right? Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. So this is the probe that I was following. The thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Uh, so the thing that I was following was was launched out of this, which was supposed to be the probe to find the the eye, right? Where's it send me? Right here. Is it all the same? <gasps> that that wasn't real time, because there were other objects floating. Oh, interesting. Okay, and then this one... Giant's Deep Projection. All right. What the hell's up with this? What are we going to see? This is the other spot. Oh, so they're, they're linked. They're linked, the two that I used. The one I used on Giant's Deep and this, they're just showing me each other. Interesting. All right, and then what was up here? Oh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna do, but let's see. Huh? I think that's the vessel. And that's the cannon. Like, that looks like what the drawings of the vessel look like. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, the, the, the reading, the reading, the reading. Did it, did it give it to me? Or was that crazy? No, I think I saw that and I thought it was floating above this. Oh, I have to wait for it. Okay. Oh. 
Nine minutes, three seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. <gasps> That's where it starts. Oh, did the guy on there send the... Ooh. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field act. Randomly selected probe trajectory? Okay. Okay. That answers where the hell we were going. <laughs> to randomly selected location. Okay, this one shows just the probe. Oh! And it shows it shooting the thing out and then breaking. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch damage to multiple modules detected. All right, all right, all right, all right. Noted. Ah, uh, this is the base of it or where we are now, right? Eee. Damage report, Sever severe structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules. Control intact. Probe tracking module missing. Launch module viewport window fractured module exposed to vacuum of space. Oh, so maybe we can get in that one. <gasps> Interesting. Ooh, I like doing this. This makes me think of Metroid Prime. <laughs> it, just, it just makes me think of Metroid Prime. I just want to leave that like that. So then what is this? This was the one on the Ash planet. Because it said the signal was received and look, I could see like little signal going through the air. And then this looks like what was sticking out of the Ash. Those two ends. That's my assumption. That's what I'm going to guess. Oh my God. Oh my God, the gravity. Let me in. Okay. So you can go back out this way. Ew. Randomly into the side of a fucking planet. Yeah, so what happens when it gets shot into the side there? Can I... Can I do anything with that? And this is just glass. Okay. Can I go to the outside of the one that was, uh... Oh, it's like threading a needle. Can I go to the outside of the one where it said the glass was broken and it was exposed to the outside to space? Maybe I should check with Gabbro on this. My boy, my buddy, my best friend, Gabbro. Oh. Eh. Let me in. Okay, let me, uh, wait, wait, let me refuel real quick and then I want to check. From the outside. Uh, which side was it on though? That one is the one I sent my scout to. Okay. I remember, what was the name of this module? What was this one again? I can go in. Ugh. Oh wait, this was the one I was looking at from the other side. Because the stuff was floating. <gasps> Right? No, it is the same. Wait a minute. Right? No, the stuff wasn't floating. It is different. It is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that was just floating. Uh, control module. Projection stone should just show us the control module. Where we just were. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, it's making more sense now. I was like... Ugh. Why does it look the same, but it's not the same? I thought it was maybe a different time, but no, it's actually, it's all real time then. Mallow! Okay, we already read all this, right? I'm just grabbing it for the sake of making it look red so I don't come back to it and go like, why, why is it, why is it like this? Okay, uh, can I, can I, oh, I can't put it back into the, the vacuum of space? All right, probe tracking module. This is one that was missing. This one was entirely missing. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. <gasps> Incredible. I am honored and terrified. I would be too. 
You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? <laughs> hmm, clueless. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Slightly? The thing shattered. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. <gasps> oh. Is it destroyed, though? Where's it at, huh? It's in the center of this planet, isn't it? It's in the center of this watery planet, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's get back up to the, uh, wherever we were. Ugh. Surely we won't get lost in space. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to go to the other side. This is cool, however. This is where it was before it was fired. Wait, I'm trying to hold L. Okay. To the ship! Okay, and then I slow down slightly, and then I slow down slightly, and then I slow down slightly. And I, woo! Go like that. Nice. Let's go back to Gabbro and be like, Hey, man, did you know that there's a a broken orbital probe cannon up there? And he'll be like, <laughs> Radical, dude. It's all about the feeling, you know, or something. Something that guy would say. Oof. Oof, was I in the big one? I can't tell. Oh, the frames. Ooh. Ooh, my frames. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, is this the nice beach island? Hold on, let, uh, the frames will catch up. The frames will catch up. They'll catch up. <laughs> it's the only time this game kills my computer. Oh! Um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh my god, he is floating! Look at him! Hey, Gabbro! Hey! Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy! Hey, nice weather we're having, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you used that one before? Uh, yes, you have. <laughs> How do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Uh, no, nah, I'm good. I, I think that'll just, that'll just loop me immediately, right? I found something. I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. Kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. True. Um. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. It's all good. Okay. If I say meditate, it, it, sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Is it going to send me the beginning? <laughs> Woo! Let's go! <laughs> he was right. Gavro was so right. Mm hmm. You see your eyes still open? Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh. 
See, that time it fired off that way. <gasps> Ooh, now we know what it is. Ooh. All right, well, I think, um... So, so the next thing would be, what, to find that island? You said the... Statue Island? Statue Island was what he was calling it? I think that was the one that I didn't uh, get to see, right? I think that was the thing that I didn't get to see. Do you think this is ready? Does that look toast? It looks like it got darker, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look like golden brown. Now it looks burnt. It doesn't change color. It just well, it just gets burnt. God, that sound. Doze off. What happens if I doze off? I haven't done this before. Oh. <gasps> you can wait until a certain time stamp. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's just teaching you an easy way to fall asleep for 20 minutes. The sun takes care of the rest. That's true. I don't know about you guys. I, I can fall asleep really fast. Once my brain is quieted down, assuming I wasn't just playing video games or something. If I, if I was just doing anything other than gaming, I can sit down and fall asleep in like 10 minutes. No matter where I am. Super easily, super easily. You can use the supernova to roast a marshmallow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? If I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Like, like I napped earlier because I looked over at my couch. I had done a chunk of work and I was really tired from like everything I did this weekend. So I, um, I looked over and I saw my cat on the couch and he was sleeping. Like he curled up on this bundled up blanket and I was like, <laughs> that's so cute! And I just went and fell asleep next to him. <laughs> like, <laughs> within two minutes. It was so fast. Super easy. It's not crash? Okay. I was just like, oh, you look so comfy. And then joined him. Ooh. Right, which one is Statue Island? He said it's the one. This one. It's the one with the rock bridge. Oh. I was here. So then I think I missed something here. Oops. Right? I think I missed something. I also haven't checked the ship log in a bit. Hold on. Let me let me double check this. Oh, the workshop. Because I haven't gotten into the workshop yet. Wow. Look at all that stuff. Sleeping animals are highly contagious, always. Okay, okay, so let's go, let's backtrack. We did the ruptured core, which was the thing in the comet that had, or the interloper, that had the ghost matter in it. Oh yeah, yeah. I found the two missing members near a large ruptured stone that looked like it exploded from the inside. They traced these strange energy readings to the spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both le uh, oh, oh, like that. lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the matter within would rap rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. Obviously, it didn't work. You did the comet already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's more to explore. Okay. I did go into the shuttle and read the logs of Clary, who stayed behind and um, just kind of lost signal from the others and was like, do I go in? Do I not? But I still saw Clary's uh, spacesuit in there, so I don't think Clary ever did. I think Clary was probably sitting there thinking about it and then the ghost matter <laughs> eruptured and uh, that was awful. Clary d -d -d died. There's more to explore, though, so I don't know what that's about. Gravity cannon. This was where I found it. It was in the gravity cannon. Okay. And if I go here... You can see some of the city. Let me only read stuff that's, like, currently relevant. Orbital probe cannon. 
Okay, yeah. So they had the cannon. It was supposed to find the location of the eye. They pushed it above its maximum power setting so that they could try to find the eye. However, it randomly fires. So I don't think this cannon does actually know where it is, right? Doesn't know where the eye is. It just keeps firing in a random direction every time. Uh, control module dead. Launch module kind of dead. Probe tracking module alive, which means when the probe is sent out, this, this does exist, right? I don't know if it works. So, I need a Maya board. The probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. So that means that it does it work, though. I feel like it probably doesn't. Looks like the module's underwater. I can see purple electricity outside the viewport. So clearly it's in the center of this whole area, right? There's more to explore at the construction yard. Oh, okay. Ocean depths. Gavro says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. Yeah, we haven't been able to go there yet. Gavro's island is all good. Statue island. I don't know my statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. Did I? Did I? Did I see that? I don't remember seeing that one. Did I? Or maybe I did. I don't remember. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some of my children debated passing by the statue workshop's door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. Ah, there is a route in. Okay, so I have to find the workshop. I want to find the workshop. I think that's where I am right now, right? Yeah. I want to figure out how to get in there. That's my, uh, that's my goal right now. It's what the probe was looking for. Is it though? Did he even know what it was looking for? Or was it aware? All right, what's another way in there? Do you think there's a way underneath the water, maybe? Oh. Which one is that? Is that the cool beach island he was talking about? <laughs> you think? I don't know. Game design is really fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think this game um, doesn't want you to know a lot of things until you're you're basically there, and you already could have extrapolated. Yeah, I already read that. So if I can't get in this way, then there's an all. Turn it round. Let me look around again. Let me look at the house area. I feel like there's a... A bunch there still. Maybe. Or... Maybe when this gets launched into space, there's more I can do with this. That seems kind of likely to me, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, wait. Testing the memory statues. Oh, I was hoping that would give me a, an idea of where to go. I assume I go down there, right? How do I get... How do I get in? Won't you let me in? It's like right under this. Hmm... The statue was right there? <gasps> right where? What do you mean right there? Hmm? Right where, huh? <gasps> oh, bones. In front of the door on the ground? What door on the ground? You missed it? Your mom missed it. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Is there nothing in any of these other ruins? Alright. It must be something we can do when we're in space, right? Maybe. Maybe. Or, 
Or what if I use this thing? What is your wisdom, oh set of discs? This isn't tracking me in any way, is it? Is it confused? Or does it need a moment? Oh. Is it dormant? He's sneaking, he's sneaking. Uh. Uh. Can I walk around this? We're gonna get eaten up by this thing real quick. Hold on, hold on, stop time real quick. Oh, oh, oh. My gravity. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're all good. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends! Okay. I'm not in my dwelling. I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. Inside... Inside the island. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. So it's just flocks being like, there's a workshop in the island, but we already had clues to that. Which means... I don't know. I think I think I have to... try jumping down while I'm in space. Jumping down? I don't actually know. I don't actually know where I'm thinking of jumping. To be honest. <laughs> like, just around the side. Maybe walking down that, um... that path that we walked down earlier, right over here. Right? What if one of these passes by, launches us up, and I'm there and I can keep going down, maybe? If that's the case, though, I should be able to do that uh, when it's in the water. There is no down space. Down relative to me. Down relative to the level of my eyeballs. <laughs> maybe when it goes up, there's a hole in the bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I've, I've circled around a, a couple times. Like, there's that. Oh, I can see the core from there. It's getting knocked around. Eh. Yeah, yeah. There must be a way down then. Let's do, uh, should I try that spot where you can just walk down the side, maybe? Do I just jump and shit? I'll wait in this one. I will simply wait here until my next chance and then I'll run out, I'll run out the right side. So there is a hole, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is, there is. Confirmed if I, if I look through there. So, if that was showing water and I sent the scout out and all it saw was the core, then that, that is truly just a hole in the bottom of this thing. So I should be able to get in there when this is in space. Right? Perceptions, reality chat. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. If I see it, it's the truth. Right? It's the truth. All right. We now wait here for 10 years until, uh, the thingy, the thingy passes by again while I sip on my drink. Have you guys hydrated? If not, it's time. And you know what the drink of choice is? The only drink of choice. Room temperature water. Hmm. <laughs> I love room temperature water. Not warm. Not cold. Room temperature water. That's the best. Actually, fun fact, I've been I've been 
A, B, well, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, testing, um, every drink to see what I hydrate with and the temperature differences, like cold water versus, uh, you know, room temp, all that kind of stuff. See if it, if I feel a difference in, like, when I'm speaking all day on stream. By the end of the stream, do I feel more or less strained one way or the other? And I actually notice a huge difference using room temp water versus anything else. Cold water, second best, but, uh, yeah, pretty much literally any other liquid that I've used, uh, does not help me. I do not feel hydrated, uh, my voice runs out, I start to feel it. I drank the teeniest amount of a caffeinated something earlier, before the stream, and then I've been drinking only room temp water the whole time, and it's the best, no vocal strain, zero. And I talk a lot. I don't shut up. I've been streaming, what, almost seven and a half hours and I haven't stopped talking? And yet, you know, warm drinks? I'm not a fan of most warm drinks. I did try a few different warm drinks and they were okay, but the things that they had in them did not outweigh just standard water. And I wouldn't drink warm water. I know some people do that. Uh, <laughs> Tea, no tea, no like hot tea. No, 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 no. Tea is actually, oh, oh my God. Tea's actually awful because of the caffeine content. Oh my God, we're descending, we're descending. How am I supposed to do this? It won't let me, it won't let me go. Uh... Oh, it wouldn't let me do it. All right, you know what, I, can I swim? Can I just swim underneath? <laughs> Will it let me swim? Let's go in. Oh my god, I think I can. <laughs> I thought the current was gonna come up to here, but it's way lower. <laughs> We made it! Ooh! Oh! Oh! How cool! You learned something new. Oh! Well, that's open now. You learn something new every day, guys. Every day. <laughs> Fuck. I did overthink it. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is gonna be intense because it's in this tiny little window, right? Oh. Wait, is that a tool or? No, those are your bones. Okay. Wait, you, you died while... I guess everyone kind of died in the moment, right? That thing exploded and they all passed away, so he was literally mid-work. Uh, Is this the one that looked at our friend? Oh, oh, my frames are nasty in here! <gasps> Alright. Alright. You got anything for just water quality? Oh, yeah. Let's just make that low. Just make that low. Oh, says Smith. <laughs> Look at that. Honestly, fine with me. Oof, man. Holy shit. It's just the water. Everything else hasn't done anything. Okay. Yarrow, would you... Kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue. When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Pairing, huh? Oh, so I'm paired to the other one. See his eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. <gasps> oh, my shit's being sent over? This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He's outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her, her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to see, send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. <gasps> they put my, they, they put my memories in MongoDB. All right. This one's eyes aren't opened. 
So no one's no one's paired with this one then. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> look at my face. I look at the things and it sends my memories to the thing that sends it to the Ash Twin that sends it back to me. So that's what we're seeing each time. Oh, so that, that space that I went to that one time where I was looking around, there were a bunch of these. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My brain is working. This symbol is what I see every time I do the time loop and I die and I go back, right? And then there was also that area way earlier where I took one of those slabs and I put it into the little projection thing. And I was standing in a room that was super dark. And I could just see several of these pillars around myself, right? And a few of them were lit up. Three of them were. Which means I am attuned to one of these. Gabbro is attuned to one of these. Someone's attuned to the third one. Ooh, right? Dun dun. Dun dun dun. This is almost as complicated as Fruits VTube Studio setup. <laughs> no, didn't she do? She started doing uh, NDI capture because Zen was like, you have to. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I should go next then, right? I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as if as though I'm being observed. So did I. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. Oh, so whatever they were doing succeeded. And just, it was just, they, you know, they died. <laughs> Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Oh, well, may maybe that's what happened. They will. Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. <laughs> oh my god, so true, Remy. Wouldn't that be so horrific and crazy? Oh, <laughs> oh how terrible. Wouldn't that be crazy? All right, I think this is the scary mask room. Yeah, ooh. Okay, so there's one. Two, three. Wait a minute, I saw something go up this way. Wait for it. There we go. <gasps> this place is a little spooky. Interesting. That was the one that we saw at the beginning. That was the one I was just talking about. Okay, so there are three individuals aware of the time loop. There are three. Right? Tree people. Tree people. Ah! Oh! Let me back up! <laughs> okay, there we go. Haha, <laughs> yeah, imagine being stuck in a time loop forever. Yeah, that would, <laughs> would that be crazy if, like, we were stuck in a time loop and we, we could never do anything but exist in the same 20 minute span over and over wouldn't that be just so kooky and nuts all right so we went to statue island which he told me to go to which means i want to go see my buddy again uh wherever he is where is, uh, I can't remember his name. I'm like, Grabo's Island. <laughs> what was his name again? So what's his name? Garbage. Oh, here he is. Gorbo. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro's Island. Boink. There we go. My good old pal, Gabbro. Garbador. Pa pants Grabbo. Garbo. Dabro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, 
radio time, buddy. It's a good thing I never got bored of rain, huh? Okay. Okay, uh, I found something. I reached the inside of Statue Island. <gasps> okay, so the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what, what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Oh my god, so true. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that on uh, that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory, friend. <gasps> that's... That's what you got for me? <laughs> He's like, that's crazy. Oh, my memory, friend. Okay, so I think next up I should go to Ash... Ash Twin... Good old Ash Twin. We probably don't have any time to go there, but... I will try and see if we can just land while all the ash is sucked up and shit. You know? Let's just see how far we can get. Yeah, all of their names are minerals. All of their names are some kind of mineral. Ooh. Do be looking a little dead. Okay, let's head toward the twins. Oh, they are moving fast. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go around this side. And I'm gonna meet them on the other side. Yeah, the Nomai are named after plants. Oh It's all good. It's all cool. Sight, sight. No worries, no issues. <laughs> I love outer space. Okay. Let's land on Ash Twin. Aligning flight trajectory. Can you can you do it faster though? Oh, the sun. The sun. I need to pull us away. Wow, it has just gotten closer and closer because the sun is expanding, huh? Wait, why am I so far? <laughs> I didn't want to go this far. I didn't want to go this far such a calming game. I don't feel calm playing this game. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I feel nothing but despair the whole time, but like in a good way. Time's up. <laughs> no, no, no. Surely we can make it. Surely we can get onto this Ash twin right here. <gasps> oh. Wait a minute. Why don't I land on this one? Can I? Oh, you know what? Wait, we can do it. We can do it. Wait, I'm holding the thing. I'm holding the thing. I'm holding the button. Oh, stop. Stop it. Lost new match. Okay, okay. There we go. Ugh. Landing gear damaged? That's fine. That's fine. I don't need this ship anymore anyway. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that door is locked. Uh-oh. The door is locked. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I almost had it, too. Bye-bye now. I'll look away from it for you. I'll go in here so you don't have to see the... the... There we go. Oh, no. It's still flashbangs. <laughs> <laughs> Ouchie. Okay, and then my memories go into the mask. Because now we know what the hell this is, right? My memories are going into the mask. Ugh. Yeah, you don't need landing gear where you're going. I feel like you just crash land the ship on a lot of planets. To be honest. 
Because there's so many instances here. So many instances of just, I mean, you go on to a, a thing and you don't have to get out of it. There it goes. So quirky, there it goes exploding again. All right, guys. We've, we've been at this for a while and I, 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 my brain tires. <laughs> 